the audio check, quick check, one board check,
Hello. Good morning, good afternoon. Hope everyone is doing well today. We had a few people in the just starting to see. We had Crystal and Mac. Welcome to stream, everyone. Hope you guys are doing well today. I think it's so funny because I will like type in the chat room when the starting soon screen is on and I will always put like a oh, one minute or 30 seconds and then the panic and then somebody is not I don't know it's always somebody's like panicking I'm freaking out and, and it's so funny to me <laughs> um I don't have any news really I didn't do much over the weekend I did jam a little bit but chatters if you are following me on Twitter, you guys are up to date with all the news concerning stream, but we are doing the Meg Esports Shells Only Mario Kart Tournament on this Sunday, July 31st at 11 a.m. Warm-ups do open up at 10, so make sure you guys are there early. As always, top three do give VIP for the month, so that means everybody who won last month will be unVIP'd, and then the next top three will be crowned for this month. Um, I can't do just green shells, unfortunately. I can only just do regular shells, so I think there will be red and green involved. And I think somebody actually commented in the replies that, oh, the people who usually get first, who are like top fragging, can't do that because if we have red shells, then we can easily get them. So chatters, I think this is your month to win. So make sure you are there on this Sunday, 11 a.m. PS2. <laughs> um... I'm gonna formally announce it tomorrow on Twitter, but if you don't know, my Wonder Stream anniversary is going to be next week, literally a week from now, August 2nd, and we're gonna be doing a special subathon stream. If you don't know what a subathon is, it's basically a stream where there's gonna be a timer in one of the out of the top or bottom corner, and essentially the stream ends when the timer ends, but time is added to the timer when people subscribe or cheer bits to the channel. So that'll be on this Sunday. Um, I know I said I'd go into more detail today, but essentially, we're gonna be doing games, we're gonna be doing some arts and crafts. I kinda wanna see if I can decorate a cupcake or something, I think that'd be fun. But then I also have to buy frosting tips, so... Meg Esports is low in funding right now, so we will see. <laughs> um, so that'll be this upcoming Tuesday. Um, we're gonna have a loaded schedule this upcoming week, we're gonna have the tournament on Sunday. The Follower Calligraphy Journal on Monday. I think we're also going to do um, the portrait cards. So Chowders, if you gift a cumulative of five subs before the end of the month, so before the 31st, you get a custom portrait sketch card. So that'll be done on stream on this upcoming Monday. And then I think I want to make a special wallpaper just for the subathon stream. So I think we'll do that on Monday. So Monday's going to be a long art stream. And then Tuesday is going to be the subathon, so I don't know if I'm going to do the Thursday or Wednesday Thursday stream for next week. We'll see on how tired I am. So I'll think about it next week. I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter. Excited for you guys? Yeah, I think you said you got the Yoshi, yeah? I think what I'm going to do for the sketch cards, so chatters, if you have gifted five subs to the channel and have not DM'd me on Twitter, make sure you follow me and DM me there your photo reference so I can pre-sketch. I think what I'm going to do... For those sketch cards, is I'm gonna pre-sketch them off stream because I know pencil doesn't show very well in the cam, and then I'll just ink and color on stream. That way, we save that way we save a little bit of time, and also people can fully see what I'm doing and working on. Um, so that's the plan for next week. This week, though, it's another loaded week. That thankfully, I'm luckily on summer break because the way that my college summer break works is instead of getting like two or three months off, we essentially get one we get two one week breaks. So I got one week off in June. And I'm getting this week off in July. So, I have a lot of time this week. Um, so, I, what I, what my goal off stream is to paint a wallpaper for Meg Esports. I know I've been saying that for literally months. So, I can have that done by Sunday. And then, what else? I need to pre-sketch the portrait cards because I have three to do. Then, for my chatters, if you have gifted five and you don't send me a picture, send me a picture on Twitter. Um, what else do I need to do? I think that's all I really need to prep. Oh my god, it's a loaded week this week! Because we have today's stream, we have the Wednesday Fall Guys, Thursday with um, SM Super Mario Bros. We Deluxe, no, you Deluxe, and then Friday we're doing the extra sub bowl stream. So it's another load. Let's go! We got two loaded weeks of streams coming up for you guys. We're ending July with a bang, guys. Okay, enough stalling. Let's go ahead and get our sub goal up for today. Let's see, did I fall off over the weekend? 
Not really, we're at 60 freaking subs. You guys are crazy. Oh, seriously, you guys have old me up this month. Uh, we're at 60, so let's put our goal at 70. Our next sub goal stream is going to be 70, which I think 70 subs is... It's Pokemon Snap. We'll do a one-off Pokemon Snap stream. So, Chatters, gentle reminder, we are practicing for this upcoming Sunday's tourney, so make sure you are there on Sunday, 11 a.m. PST. Hawkery do get VIP for the month. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead. Stop stalling. Let's, let's actually play the fucking game. Um, since we are practicing for the tourney, I think I'm going to do a few rounds of custom matches and then switch gears to online. Okay, any chatters want to choose my character? Anybody? Anybody want to fuck with me? Hi, Jakey. You welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. I was excited to stream today. <clears throat> like, I was looking forward to all weekend. I think that's, like, one of the positives. Okay, if nobody's choosing, I'm gonna do Peach. I'm gonna do Peach. You guys got one more minute. Black Yoshi? Okay. Thank you for redeeming, Crystal. Of course you would pick Yoshi, knowing you, man. <laughs> okay, so let's do... I know the tourney's gonna be 150 before anybody asks. It's gonna be 150, but I'm gonna play in 200, because I need 200. 200. Hi, Wolf. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. I know you said you were doing errands and volunteering, so shoutouts to you, man. But welcome back to stream. Don't ever- Chatters, don't ever feel bad if you can't catch every live. It's totally not a problem. Okay, it's not that I don't care, because I do kind of miss my regular chatters, but you know, it's fine. Okay, let's do- Okay, let's do random four races. That way we can change characters every four races. Oh, I gotta change my items. Lol. <laughs> Yeah, so I think what we can do for future tournaments, we have bananas only, mushrooms only, and that's it. Then coin run. And I found that for tournaments, you can do team games too, which I didn't know. So we just, we got a lot of content queued up for future tourneys, but this upcoming one is going to be shells only. Okay, let's get started. We're going to do predictions every race, guys. So, chatters go gamba, do you think I will get first place? Oh, that's odd. The overlay is not showing on screen. Damn. Okay, well, I guess we'll hide that for today. <laughs> Good job for not swearing for an hour 24. You know what? I tried. I generally tried that last stream and I got so freaking close. I literally told chat the only way you're gonna get me to throw and swear is if I'm doing a story time. That's literally the one time I did swear. It, I mean, it was a good fun stream. I did get God. <laughs> okay, so I think the main strategy we're gonna have to do for the tourney is hold any shells you have behind you and cross your fingers you get like a triple shell or something. But coins! I think it's absolute BS that we still get coins. <laughs> That's so cute, Wolf. I... <laughs> Okay, Chatters, I have a question. Do you watch your the, like any stream, any streamers that you watch? Do you watch it with a friend? Because sometimes me and my friends will be in a VC and we'll watch a stream together. Like we won't necessarily be talking in the chat room. We'll just be in a VC, like making jokes about the streamer as we're watching them. Does anybody else do that, or is it just me? I think it's a nice, fun way to enjoy content because it's kind of like it's almost like sitting in the living room watching TV with your family and everybody's like making jokes and such. I see it kind of like that. Because, <clears throat> like, I have found over the years that I'm I'm the annoying person when you watch a TV show or a movie where I will commentate and I will talk during the movie. I have admitted it. I know it's bad behavior. But, you know, that's just how I am. <laughs> Your friends don't watch streams? Really? Okay. I know some people don't enjoy stream content. I know the biggest appeal to, like, live content is being able to- Dude, that blue shell is taking forever! Okay, never mind. <laughs> I know the big appeal is that with stream content you get to interact live with the entertainer, but a lot of takes I'll hear about streaming is that they think it's boring, which I think is a totally valid take, because, like, a lot of my friends, they very much enjoy, like, short form or YouTube content more. 
So I get not wanting to watch streams, but I think it's still pretty fun. Oh my god! Holy shit! Thank you for the rate I appreciate that, hon. Chatters, can we get some peace I to yo's in the chat room? Welcome in the raiders. I hope you're doing well, so thank you for that raid, hon. But guys, I just got a freaking first place. On our first race, crazy. Oh my god! Issa with a six-month resub. Holy shit. I think you're one of my longest learned long-term subs, but I appreciate that. I really do. You're gonna go ahead and get your name written in the sub-only journey at the end of stream. Thank you, Issa. It's actually crazy. What month is it? It's July. Because I think I've qualified for affiliate since January. It's wild to think how like quickly time passes. Oh, prediction! Fuck! Hi, Titans. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. It's time for you to waste your points. Yeah, because I'm going to get first every single freaking race today. We're practicing for next week's tourney. Chatters, if you are just coming in from that raid, exclamation tourney in chat for more information. We are doing a playing with viewers tournament. Dude, that was actually sick, that ricochet. On this Sunday, 11 a.m. PST warm up start at 10. So be there or be square. <laughs> Sorry. I just realized I was like slightly not centered in frame. And my chair rolled. <laughs> you ordered something that's not getting here till quarter four? That's crazy. I think with the rise of like the internet and like hitting like instant gratification, like I know I get annoyed if there's no like three day shipping option. I'm just like, come on. Has Amina has Amazon not advanced? Society further enough. I threw. Cause like I have Amazon Prime. Any primers in the chat room? Sub with Prime, it's free. <laughs> Cause like I get the student account, so I think it's only seven dollars a month for me, which is actually kind of crazy. Like I know I could use like my dad's account, but it's also like it's gonna be in his name, and I don't want him to look through my shit. You know what I mean? Okay, not that I'm buying bad things, but I don't want them to look through my mail, okay? Hey, yeah, what instrument do you play with? I think you told me before, but I blanked. <laughs> okay, it's not that I don't care, it's just my memory is dog shit. Ah! Yeah, I'm, I, I agree, Tynes. Like, Amazon has spoiled everyone and ruined everyone's expectations of anything. You don't have Amazon Prime? How does somebody not have Amazon Prime? It's kind of crazy. Did I get first? Um, actually, yeah. We ordered from a Kickstarter, really? I've always, like, wanted to, I guess, invest in Kickstarters, but it kind of feels not worth, and I feel like there's a lot of people of, like, that do scam. Reading chat while playing 200cc Mario Kart is hard? Yeah, it's a freaking skill. You can say that I'm talented. <laughs> Alto saxophone. Oh, okay, so that's why you like the saxophone. <laughs> okay, Charles, go Gamba, go Gamba. Also, I love the shirt that I'm wearing today. Because, like, it looks like it's a tank top, but it's just cut out sleeves. I think it's, like, really elegant. And I used to have this shirt. Like, this was my shirt back in high school, but then I, I, I didn't like it, so I gave it to my mom. But I guess she kept it, but she literally never wears it. And my mom and I are close enough in size, like, we're the same width, but she's, like, she's got a bigger build than me in the sense of, like, I'm just thicker, but she's, like, taller. <laughs> so a lot of the stuff that, um, is in her closet, I can fit into, so it's kind of nice. So today I was like, hey, mom, can I just, like, borrow a few things from your closet? And she's like, sure. As long as you put it back, and I'm like, bet. Because, like, half the time I forget to put everything back. But if I ever have a roommate, I would love- it'd be great if we were the same size. That way if we go clothes shopping, we could just like share it, share it all the time. I think it'd be great. Mom fit? No, this is literally my shirt that I used to wear. She does have a lot of like mom shirts. Like she has a lot of like sports t-shirts. She's got a lot of like cringe ass graphic tees. But I like the more elegant stuff. I like the stuff that looks gloomy, kind of femme. Oh my god! Makes it look like I have a green screen background. Really? Fuck! It 
could be my lighting as well because I know I can change my. What is going on? <laughs> I know I can change my lighting to like have. I know the ideal light setup is to have a light behind you and then a light to your left and right. But I just don't have enough space to my right to have another light. <laughs> but imagine. <laughs> Out of everything that I could green screen, why do I green screen a wall? <laughs> I should green screen myself into like the Bahamas or something! Evil plan to distract is working. No, it's literally all these shells I'm getting fucking bombarded with. It's not you, fucking egomaniac. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's so nice getting your streamer's attention. Like, I have a. One of my core memories, no joke, is Connor eats pants like reacting and laughing to a joke I made. I was like, I have peaked. I have peaked. <laughs> you know, all the resident doubters, you were just throwing your points away. You were. <laughs> Giving your money back to the community, to the believers. Which is fine, you know, which is a wholesome act, but honestly, I wouldn't be doubting when we're playing against computers. You never heard of Connor Eats Pants? Huh? Connor Eats Pants who Megalol? I freaking love his content. Cause like, I think his type of streams, if you don't know him, he usually just plays like Nintendo games. Sometimes, <laughs> like, he plays like shooters as well. Or like FPS. But a lot of his stream Oh my god! Is like just talking to the chat room. Like it's him just playing the game and talking, kinda of very similar to my style. Like he doesn't do anything too fantastical. But I think that's part of the appeal. Like he seems so relatable. And I think he's my age. I think he's 23. But he's been streaming for a long time. So I think he started streaming when he was in like high school or something. Ah! <laughs> but he's definitely one of my top like five streamers of all time. I hate this course. I literally hate it. Because I think it's one of those things where, like, the more you watch someone, like, their streams or their YouTube, you just become accustomed to, like, their commentary style or their voice. Like, last night, I literally watched, like, 40 minutes of his YouTube videos, and, like, I actually sat down and, like, listened to them and watched them. And I usually don't do that with YouTube anymore. Like, I'll just, like, have it on in the background, but, like, I sat and watched them. Because, like, I just liked what he talked about. You've only heard of Connor through me, Sag. Go follow Connor Eats Pants right now if you aren't already. First, okay, first follow and sub to my channel and then go follow Connor Eats Pants. <laughs> ah! I thought this was lap three already. Oh my god. This is a good track to doubt on, honestly. Uh, I do have a pretty crazy lead right now, though. I hate this part. Yeah, I need to win. They're catching up. They're catching up. You should never say never. You know what? I loved Hannah Montana. I think honestly that was one of my favorite like Disney shows when I was when it was on air. But. Okay, second to Austin Alley. The reason why I loved Austin and Alley so much is because I shit the main character so much. I threw the shell. I threw the shell. I threw the shell. Oh my god! That was literally so fucking close! Holy shit. I won that by a hair. Did I get first? Yes, actually crap. That one is really close, so that one is surprisingly way too close. Also, chatters, if you're gonna subscribe to the channel long term, little heads up, it's a few dollars cheaper if you subscribe for like three months at once. Like for example, um, I gift Stream Elements a three month sub, so it would be $15, but if you pay up front, it was only like 12. So if you're gonna sub long term, do that if you wanna save a few bucks. Okay, anybody you wanna change my character? Anybody? Okay, I need to stop shilling subs because people are gonna think I'm actually being mean. <laughs> I'm not being mean, it's just... 
I don't feel comfortable by being transparent about that type of thing. <clears throat> Good chatters. Anybody want to change? What is the challenge command? We don't have that today. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Titans. I like being billed less frequently. Like, if I see a $5 charge, I'm like, huh? I'm like, what is it for? Okay, we're doing Yoshi again. Actually, I want to change the color. Because, like, I have a all of my subscriptions I keep in, like, a notes document. That way I can, like, look at them easily. I won't let you do it twice. Oh, Sag. Every month- it, every month does add up, like, when- Cause, like, you know how they have those apps to where it'll, like, outline all your subscriptions, or if you open, like, your banking app, it'll have everything outlined that's charged on your whatever cards you have? I just wrote everything- I just wrote all my subscriptions, even if it was, like, two dollars, in a little notepad, that way I can, like, look at everything. And it kind of made me realize that I don't need to subscribe to everything that I was previously subscribed to. Like, I think out of everything, including my phone bill, and my- yeah, including my phone bill, which is like 50 bucks. I think all my subscriptions come down to like 120. And like half of them are from Twitch. Because <laughs> like, okay, Shatters, if you know what Twitch Pro or Twitch Turbo is, look it up yourself. It's pretty pog you. But, um, what's the best starter credit card? I don't fucking know. Okay, what's nice is my dad is a veteran, so I bank through Navy Federal. And I get some pretty good benefits because he was a veteran. Like, I whip out my Navy Federal card and everybody at the register is like, Oh my god, you are so lucky because we have some- The bank has surprisingly good rates than compared to other bankers, so... I got lucky, guys. But... Oh my god, I'm fucking laughing everybody already! Holy shit! I got him! Oh, I got collabed too. <laughs> um, oopsie. Oh, I was like, why'd that guy go through the no-go zone? But it's because I'm literally laughing, people. Oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I, I have pretty good interest rates for my credit card or like my savings account, thankfully. Like, I got lucky. My RNG was good. There we go! First baby! I totally understand if people can't resubscribe. I, I totally understand. Like, whether it be, like, finance reasons or you can't show up to every stream, it's totally fine. I, okay, it's not that I don't care, it's just, like, people do it for their own reasons. Easy clap. Your credit card stopped working, huh? Like, I know, like, the chip will sometimes bug out. So you just gotta, like, rub it a little bit or, like, wipe it off. I don't think... I don't think I've ever overdrafted my debit card, thankfully. Because anytime I would get concerned about overdrafting, like, because I have my mobile banking app, I'll just whip up my app and see if I if I have enough money. <laughs> but there was a few times where, like, my credit card wouldn't work in the store, and that was weird. There's been a few times where I've had to freeze my card. Granted, I've never lost my wallet, but... Like, anytime I travel, I would always freeze my card whenever... Like, the first day being... Or, like, in commute. Like, when I was about to go on the plane, I would freeze my card. I don't know. It's just, it's just something I would do. Like, it made me feel safer. <laughs> yeah, I am zooming right now. I'm usually not that good at this track, but... I'm doing great. I think the big reason why... I fall way too far behind whenever I play Mario Kart is all the items. Cause like, I'm, I think I'm doing pretty, fo pretty well with just shells right now. Like, it's nothing... Like, if it were any other item, I think I'd be a lot further behind. Ah! <laughs> I have to stop betting on Mario Kart streams? Well, how about you just stop gambling? That seems like your main problem. Oh, I missed. Hi, Mac. Welcome back from your lurk. Oh! I was way too close there. First, easy clap.
He got your nose pierced? Really nice. My friend almost accidentally pierced their nose. <laughs> wait, story time. I gotta wait. I gotta farm for a clip. Hold. I gotta stall. <laughs> okay, chatters, go Gamba. I hate this track. I hate this track. Okay, I gotta stall some more. Hold. <laughs> hey, chatters, I'm farming for a clip. <laughs> Okay, so I've never wanted to get piercings, but I like- they are pretty, they are cute. But my friend, they almost accidentally pierced their ear- or they pierced their nose the other weekend. Because they were telling me they were biking at night, and Dummy Dum didn't have a light on their bike. Nobody report, nobody self-report. Or no, they were actually self-reporting, saying they did not have a light on the bike. Anyway, so they're biking on the sidewalk, and there's this big-ass blackberry bush. And it gets caught on his nose. <laughs> I wasn't there, he was just telling me the story afterwards. And he said he got, like, he, like, it hooked onto his nose, and he had this gnarly ass scratch all up his nose. That ass could have been a piercing. <laughs> I missed every single mystery box. Because, <laughs> like, I've, I've considered getting, like, an ear piercing, so I think earrings are cute, but I'm also way too concerned about them getting infected or something. Cause like, I like wearing them, wearing them. I have magnetic pairs, and like, you can alter most any existing pair of earrings into a magnetic pair, cause like, I have the little dingly danglies. <laughs> I was actually gonna wear a pair today, maybe I'll show it to chat later. Type one in chat if you wanna see the earrings that I made. BRICK! <laughs> I don't- I don't think the red shell auto-targets when you throw it behind. I don't think it does. It'd be cool. Because chatters, if you comb through all of my old social media, you may be able to find my failed Etsy store attempt. I think my Etsy account is still up, but all the listings are currently down. But I tried to sell earrings, and I told myself I'm never going to sell the product again unless I'm guaranteed to sell at least 100 units online. That That's the only time I'm selling merch, that's the only time I'm ever selling like a homemade product. If I can't sell 100 units and make at least 1k on day one, not worth. Literally not worth. Um. Anyway, I'm not gonna start a business or- Oh! What the fuck? Screw you, screw you! Saved. Easy clap, guys. Look at that. I freaking sniped him at the end. <laughs> I live for your stories. Yeah, I think I'm funny. <laughs> Just go for it. My sister's ears got infected when she got piercings, okay? Because what happened when she got hair piercings was she okay because my dad didn't want her to get piercings but we went on it was my mom my sister and i we went on a trip to hawaii and my dad didn't go because he had work so my sister pierced her ears and she, he didn't know until we got back home i think she got it done at the mall granted it was at the fucking mall so that could be why but after like two weeks it got infected granted the infection wasn't too bad but still not fun it it sucked. I think the worst part is like seeing someone you care about being in pain. You know what I mean? I think that is the worst. That is generally one of my worst fears. Um. Because like thankfully, I've never had- <laughs> Anyway. Genuinely, I think one of my biggest fears is seeing somebody I care about, whether it be like a family member or a friend, like getting hurt. I- I- <laughs> I am genuinely so scared of that happening. Like, thankfully, I've, I've, I haven't had to experience that trauma yet, but, like, I've seen family members in the hospital and, like, the aftermath of, like, stuff happening, and it's not... Because, like, when somebody gets hurt, there's only a limit you can do to help them. Unless you're, like, medically certified, you only have to, like, follow what the doctor says. Like, there's no magical cure to any injury. And it's just... You feel so helpless in those situations, and I think the best thing you can do is try and support them as much as they can. Like, if they want some space or if they want somebody to hang out with them. I think a big thing is also when you go to the hospital, it's not as relevant now because you can't really bring as many guests with you to the hospital. But if you have to go to the ER and they allow you to have somebody with you, have somebody stay in the waiting room with you because you always need someone to advocate for you. Because like anytime I've gone to the ER, like my parents have just dropped me off and they were like, we'll be in the parking lot. And it's like, okay. But it's scary to be in the hospital of ER by yourself. Because, like, you don't know if you're going to answer a question wrong, or if you're going to say the wrong thing. 
to find wood? What? Huh? <laughs> okay, I have no protection right now. I have literally no protection! Please take your mom. Yeah. I mean, I know it's boring waiting in the waiting room, but still, like, I think it's important to have, like, somebody with you. My <laughs> dad would forget my birthday. Damn. Sag. I think my sister, she had a tattoo gun. I think this is what she got. Shatters, look at that. Six, or eight first places in a row? I'm actually insane. TikTok removed the waiting room issue for me? Okay, but the problem is, okay, actually not a problem anymore. It's like, you don't know how much, how long you're gonna be at the hospital, so you don't know how long your battery's gotta last. But I think most, I think most public places with waiting rooms, like any doctor's office I've been to, they always have like outlets or they'll have actual like charging ports and cords in the lobby. Oh, knock on wood? Oh, okay. I was like, huh? What? Okay, anybody want to change my character? Anybody? Anybody want to change? Chatters, we are 30 hours- Fuck you, Mac. <laughs> Hi, Nezer, and welcome to stream. We're pretty well today. I feel like chatters like when I- when I'm- okay. What's a nice way of saying it? <laughs> when I- when I talk shit to them, I feel like some people like that. Some people may like it too much, but we're not gonna talk about those people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it self-reporting. <laughs> Mag is actually self-reporting. Also, I talk about this- I, I feel like every stream- I hate Wario. I hate Wario so much. But I will be more goofy and gappy with regular chatters, so if you're new to stream or if you want to like start chatting at some point, I'm not gonna be mean right off the bat, okay? I will be nice and wholesome to my new chatters, but as as you stay here more, I'll, I'll goof and gaff a little bit more. Because I feel like that's part of the fun. It's a funny joke making your streamer suffer? I think that's kind of mean, kind of cringe, honestly. <laughs> I hate this game. Okay, type one in chat if you're actually gonna participate in the tournament. Because I want a full lobby this time. I think we got very close to a full lobby last month. It was actually kind of crazy. I understand we also have people who just um, participate for that stream. Like, I know we do get a lot of, like, unique chatters on the tournament streams. But... I liked last month because everybody who won last month was a regular chatter and I felt really good. Maybe if I can get around to buying online. You've been saying that for months, Nezarin. <laughs> but I totally get it. I think, yeah, my online account is associated with my sister, so if she doesn't pay, then I'm screwed. Okay. I didn't even look at the map a single time this race, but look at this. I am so far ahead right now. Wait, I'm not laughing, people, but I'm doing pretty good. Ah! I, I fell off. I fell off. <laughs> Titans, I just saw your message. <laughs> I, okay, I didn't ignore it. I just didn't see it. Oh my god. Uh, moderators, keep an eye on Titans. <laughs> they are self-reporting. <laughs> You're too good at the game? Maybe. Actually, maybe. Easy clap. First. I want to see who doubted. I wish I could see who doubts every time. <clears throat> also, I'm sorry that the prediction overlay is not on screen today. It's not working. So sad. I'm sorry, VOD watchers. <laughs> sorry. I, I have, like, something... I got a bug bite. I got so many fucking mosquito bites when I watered the garden the other day. And, and I nicked one of them right now. You crave criticism? Sure. That's what they all say. I was watching Hassan stream yesterday. If anybody knows Hassan Abi, 
literally my favorite streamer, and it was his birthday yesterday. He did a he did a long ass birthday stream, but he literally just talked about politics all day, which is fine. But they were talking about um, hay pigs or fin dom. Okay, this is not an adult topic. It's nothing too crazy, but it's basically people who let's say enjoy giving random people, i.e. women, money online. And it's like this weird thing they really like, and I'm just like, dude, if I had money, I would love that shit. <laughs> Can you please explain the phrase Sag? Um, are you watching on mobile or desktop look? Because I think it, if you watch Twitch on desktop, you should, you literally exclamation X extensions in chat room. And you'll see a whole new world of emotes on Twitch. Um, but Sag is basically the Pepe emote, and they're making a sad face. Can somebody type Sag in chat? Capital S A D G Sag. So if you don't, if you're watching Twitch on desktop and you don't have those emote extensions enabled, make sure you do because you will see a lot more emotes, and you'll a lot of the things I say will make a lot more sense. I'm like what do, what do I say a lot? I say easy clap. I say Sag, Pogu, Pogo. What else do I say a lot? I say a lot of emotes, like, casually, and it's fucking cringe. Like, my friends will call it out all the time. You're watching on mobile? Damn. Imagine being a mobile chatter. <laughs> um, but look, if you ever have a chance, um, watch Twitch on this stuff. It's definitely a, a way better experience, in my opinion. I know you can get, like, the 7TV, BTV, and Frank Face Z extensions on mobile, but you gotta, like, hack. You gotta, like, do some shit to your phone. It's like, I don't wanna do that. Um, and that's a big reason why I have chat on screen as well. That way people who are watching on mobile can still see the emotes on screen. Not in the chat room, but just on screen. It's another reason why delay is lack, yeah. I think mobile viewers, they have like, a few, like either 5 to 10 seconds more delay than desktop people. I see easy clap all the time, my brother hates me for it. See, my sister used to, like, get super annoyed whenever I would say, like, Twitch terms. But now that she understands what they mean, she says them all the time, too. And she literally does not watch Twitch at all. Like, she's a YouTube frog. <laughs> I turn my chat off because my friends come in and say bad words. <laughs> like, do you, during your stream, do you just have, like, emote mode? <laughs> oh, Twitch is blocked? <laughs> I mean, it makes sense. Imagine watching Twitch in your school computer. <laughs> okay, chatters, go Gamba. Go Gamba. Nobody, like, none of my friends IRL do Twitch or, like, don't watch Twitch at all. Like, my only friends that come into Twitch chat are people who stream themselves. So... Oh, I got the upper path! I wasn't even trying! Oh, let's go! So I've never had an issue with anybody I know coming into chat and being a weird champ. Oh, you say weird champ! I also say that, too. We have 98% doubters? Really? Come on! Okay, but honestly, this is a very difficult track, so... Who else does chores while watching Peace in? I think Mac literally said they were cleaning their room before stream! Believing you, <laughs> believing on you and Marikar is easy. Not gonna lie, I know, right? I'm freaking pro at this game. Like I had a friend come over the other day or the other week, and we played Marikar, and they were like, "Oh my god, you're actually good at the game!" I'm like, yeah, I'm not a fucking dweeb. There are some games I am correct at. Marikar be winning, what being one of them. Cause like, if it's a full lobby of Marikar, I definitely struggle, cause that's when people, that's when usually you get bombarded with items. But if it's a one-on-one -on -one race. With limited items, I fucking win every time. Except the times where I don't. Hi Ethan, welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today! Dark Souls stream one literally never. I would I think Cuphead is my threshold for games that I do not like and I know I do not like, but I'll pay on stream. Dark Souls, I literally I I don't think I could handle it. I would have an aneurysm from how angry I'd get. Me playing Dark Souls would be crazy. That would be... Okay, I would just be dying like every five... He'd be here forever. Stream ends when I beat 
Dark Souls, guys. Wouldn't that be great? That'd be a subathon stream. <laughs> a never ending stream. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, that'd be. What if we played. Okay. What I get? I got first. Easy club. Um. Because, Chatters, we are doing a subathon on August 2nd, so save your paychecks for that stream. Um. <laughs> I was gonna say, I need to think about what games I want to play, because I know I want to do, like, arts and crafts. I either want to, like, decorate cupcakes, or I think I want to do paint rocks, but I don't know. August 2nd is the day of your driving test? Well, good luck, Mac. Peace I to pray. Good luck, Mac. Stream ends when I sing WAP. <laughs> this stream will never end, baby! Isn't it a 4 hour game for people who are actually good? I know. I know. And it'd be like a 200 hour stream if I played it, because I'm bad at little baby games. Isn't Dark, isn't Dark Souls ported on the Switch, actually? It's probably like dog shit quality, though. Because I saw that The Witcher was ported to the Switch, and I was like, literally, why would anybody choose to play it like that? Oh, since I am on summer break this week, I was- I have a lot of time to like actually study for my written test for driving and I know I said I want to get it done by Friday but Chatters, uh, well how about next Friday I'll take that test. <laughs> I, I just want to stall a little bit because like I'm good at studying for tests but I get anxious like when I actually take the test. Oh Bloodborne is part of that was it? I was close. It's easy you got this. But see, I'm not good with multiple choice, because, like, the whole point of multiple choice is to make yourself doubt yourself. And my memory is doc- Okay, I need to stop talking bad about it, because if I'm going to psych myself out, I'm going to try and get it done by this Friday, if not next Friday. One rule of the road- I literally- Okay, I literally haven't even opened the fucking driver's test book. That's how far I am. <laughs> First easy clap. I li is literally on my couch. I have not opened it yet. <laughs> yeah, I know they have like practice tests online, so I'm definitely gonna do that. Should we do a? <laughs> Should we do that on stream on Friday? <laughs> I take a driver's test on stream. Not clickbait. Real. Is that allowed? Okay. Is that actually allowed? Because, like, I know for some colleges, you're not supposed to, like, post or, like, talk about specific aspects of your assignments. Like, I know for me, I'm not allowed to, like, repost any homework or assignments I do or any curriculum or books I read for class. Um. Okay, Charles, choose my character. Choose my character. So, I feel like the driver's test is online, so I feel like that's public knowledge, right? Sound like Katie with the study stream? I know, right? Yeah, it's a practice test anybody can look up. <laughs> Don't run into bananas, noted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I have to go into an actual driving school and take that multiple choice test. Hey, Janice, anybody want to change? Anybody want to change? You have no points, really? Damn. It'd be cool if people who watch the VODs or something got channel points as well. I think that'd be a cool mechanic. But I don't think they have that. Okay! <laughs> I guess we're sticking with Wario! I mean, I think the actual big brain strat is for nobody to change the character and I just play Wario all day. I think that's actually the strat. You're 2k away from Twitter draft? Nice. Nice. Okay, please do what? Do the Twitter draft? Don't you have enough points, Mac? Why are you making somebody else buy it? <laughs> Should I redeem the draft right now? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I think that'd be fun. Oh! They got way too close to me. 
Oh wait, there's road signs too? Fuck. I remember when I was little, my mom, she made like little flashcards of road signs. That way we could like practice as we were in the car. That was when I was like six though. So I, I don't remember any of those stupid signs. <laughs> What if they made it so people who wear glasses legally can't drive? I think that'd be cool. <laughs> you don't know road signs? I know some of them, but some of the more specific ones, I'm like, huh? Like, I've literally never seen that in my life. Your VIP and hearts? Aww. Honestly, okay, I don't play favorites, but I think Mac is my favorite chatter. Because, like, Mac has a very similar chatting style to how I chat. So... Um, everybody else, you have to work to be my favorite, okay? You guys need to talk more, you guys need to emo spam more. And then you might think I'm a favorite. <laughs> You're gonna give me a big head? You get filled with what, air? <laughs> Imagine saying we're at point and then it's the lamest tweet ever? Okay, all of my tweets are fucking good, okay? I looked through my drafts the other day and I- Okay, I got one banger one that I'm not gonna post because- Got it too, Edgy. Well, I got a few. Oh, I got a few like wholesome ones. Fuck you! It didn't even hit, Isabella. I got scammed. Actually, scammed. You get to pick if it's right or not. I don't have any. <gasps> I bet Titans is slamming their keyboard right now from not doubting. <laughs> Taking an Elma's hurt. A little bit, but you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm not too mad. <laughs> Get chatters, go Gamba, go Gamba. Do you think I'll win? I think I'll get first. I've only had one race that wasn't first, but you know, we're not gonna talk about that one. Okay, I'm actually concentrating for this race. Nobody distract me. Nobody say something funny. Don't say anything funny. <laughs> I, I literally had that turn, but then I did it. I messed it up. I think this track is easier to play with Wario, though, honestly. You guys, when you hear a joke, just say the joke. I fucking hate the debates. One loss out of nine? Yeah, my win rate is still, what, 90%? Okay, that's an A minus. Not cool. That's not good enough. turn that time and now there's a freaking blue show i can't even revel in my victory right there i don't know any jokes somebody help just watch my streams and copy my jokes easy what if i distract by making you sing a song i don't know you gotta redeem first nice try i should have held i literally should have held it didn't even matter. Back and first. It wasn't a funny joke. <laughs> I feel like the opener want to hear a funny joke, and then people are like, my life. <laughs> I think that is like the stupidest joke. It's not even a joke. I don't like when people like self-doubt or like make jokes like that anymore. I think it's bad and cringe. me but thank you all for redeeming let's sing a song chat let's sing a song to make us feel better after that 
That devastating third place. Ugh. Yeah, the trash jokes. I feel like that's so middle school. It's so middle school, and it's like... If you have that- if you're that brain broken when you're in middle school, you need to change your perspective and start loving yourself, you know? Not a third SMH? I know, right? I should just turn in my steering wheel. <laughs> Okay, chat, let's find a song. Okay, I kind of want to do Ancient History or Bleak December by Set Off, so I gotta get my headsets on. Is that brain broken in high school? Dude, like, I thought about making jokes like that when I was younger, but, like, you know, I'm already pretty sad. Because, you know, I feel like PewDie fucks most people up. But I was like, you know, I'm not gonna talk too bad about myself. Publicly. Because, okay, I've, I've talked about it before, but a quick thing I want to say about, like, you gotta show. Not show, but I feel like what a lot of people don't realize when you talk about yourself, whether it be like casually or even jokingly, you subconsciously start believing it. Because to me, I fully believe in the concept of like, once you say it, you're kind of like manifesting it into reality because you can kind of think whatever you want in your head, but once you say it to somebody or once you say it out loud, it kind of makes it real. So, shouters, don't talk bad about yourself. Don't make jokes talking bad about yourself because you're only going to put yourself down more. It, there's a lot better ways to be funny and if people find those jokes or if people find those jokes whenever you make it about yourself and they laugh or they find it funny they don't understand that it's hurting you right no there's a better way to be funny in better I mean like a way to better yourself with your comedy because it's a very easy joke to shit on yourself but in long term it's not good Okay, I'm finding a song right now. So I'm <laughs> chatters. I'm looking at my phone. I'm looking for a song. Okay, I think I'm gonna do Bleak December. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be kind of cringe. It's gonna be kind of cringe because <laughs> I'm still learning this one. But if you don't know Sit It Off, they're a pop-punk alternative band. I really like their songs. If- Ooh, I want to learn another Ariana Grande song. I need to learn another one. But chatters, if you could spam your favorite hype emotes, your favorite animated emotes in the chat room, that would make me very happy. So, I'm gonna do Bleak December by Set It Off. Like I said, I'm still learning the song, so it's gonna- We're gonna see how my range is today. But- Ooh, this looks weird. Cause like, these are cutout sleeves. That's why it looks weird. Okay. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> I'm so scared. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna do the final verse, because I like how the final verse, the vocalization. Okay. <clears throat> now what are you to me? But a fly inside a web of lies you weave. You're not fooling anyone, not you, not me. So I wonder how you stay alive when all I do is freeze. In that bleak December, you're just too cold, but I need the answer before you fall. You would hold your cards inside your chest I think I drove too far For the big December And how full of shit you are Oh, oh how full of shit you are Oh, oh, oh. I, I Okay, I had my headsets on And I just realized I literally wasn't playing the song <laughs> Okay that was the final verse, because, like, the the first and second verse are kind of, like, a bit more fast. I really like the second verse. I did the third one that I just sang for you guys. I think my favorite verse from the song is... I really, really, really want to know you. Oh, oh. And not all 50 fucking personalities inside your skull. If you'd stop trying to steal the spotlight and steal the show... 
then maybe you would have a better chance of not dying alone. Oh, so I hit the road. Okay, that was the second verse. It actually did pretty good. And I wasn't even drawing. Okay, chatters. I am talented. <laughs> I'm trolling, I'm trolling. I'm not an egomaniac, I promise. But chatters, you like that? Was it good? Did you enjoy the song for today? Chatters, if you want to hear me sing another song, you just gotta gift subs or subscribe for free with Prime because... Chat, if we look at our uptime, we are at an hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. Yeah, well, if, if you don't have the extensions downloaded, you just see words. Because if you look at the emote, it has like a, a, a written code, right? <laughs> anyway, chatters, chatters, an ad is coming. You can find the ad break by subscribing for $4, just $5. Skip your coffee today and get ad free viewing all month long. Or if you have an Amazon Prime account, which I know most of you guys do, link it to your Twitch account and you get a free Prime sub every month. All you gotta do is click that box below, see if you have a Prime available right now. Um, anyway, get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. After this, we will continue with Mario Kart. I, I could not type for a second. That. Was that good? Was that song good? I need to learn that one more, actually, because, like, I would love, I would freaking love to do actually produce covers, but I don't, I don't know shit about recording audio. Like, I don't know fucking dog shit. You can play my mic quality right now. I think it's decent, but it's not as good as it could be, because I have a blue yeti, because I am broke. Dude, I cannot believe I got freaking third. That is so bad. That is so bad. Actually, despicable. Okay, easy track. No way. Literally no way I don't get first. Literally no shot. If I don't get first, I end stream. <laughs> what what if what if that was a stream concept? I end stream if I don't get first. Stream ends in five minutes. <laughs> okay, I think okay, I think I'll have to write that down. That's actually a pretty funny concept. <laughs> But then, but then, I just restart stream, and then people looking at the channel will see like 10 bots because I keep not getting first, and they're all like five minutes long. <laughs> okay. Okay, chat, write that down. That'd be a great April Fool's stream. Okay, but honestly, having that many bots in your library is kind of bad. Kind of bad. Nobody steal that idea though, because I think it's a pretty funny idea. Nobody, nobody yoink and twist that idea. Ah! I got way too close to him. Oh, what even hit me right there? Easy clap first. See, I'm not ending streams just yet. No way I would have lost. I actually got kind of close there. That blue shell almost screwed me. Okay, chat. Go Gamba. Do you think I'll get first on Coconut Mall? Okay, I will get a few comments on like TikTok or YouTube being like, you're actually good at the game, or you're correct, and I, I think they're trolling. Because <laughs> like, it'll be from clips that I do like decent in, but I'm just like, are they, are they goofing, or are they like being genuine? Because like sometimes when people troll, you don't know if they're like little kids, and they just enjoy watching somebody play a game, or if there's somebody being mean. Like it's hard to differentiate. Like, I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Like, if the comment isn't, like, outwardly mean, or if it just seems a little bit unsensitive, I just think, like, oh, they're probably, like, a little 13-year-old who doesn't understand social cues. But then I'm like, it's probably, like, a little... Or, like, a fucking 35-year-old guy who is sad and alone. And just wants to shit on a rando online. Like, I... It's hard for me to... 
determine who is who in those situations. Backhanded comps are so aggressive. I know, right? Talking about being backhanded, I was playing Switch Sports offline yesterday, and I think my favorite, like, um, reaction to emo emoticons have to be, like, the actual, like, the yellow emojis. And the one that I got annoyed the most with is there was this one emoji where they're, like, rolling their eyes and they have a straight face. And they, the person I was playing with, it was a random online, but they would do that anytime I messed up. And, like, I understand it's, like, a sad face, but still, like, those- uh, Why do the rolling eyes when you're being so fucking mean to me? What if I'm, like, a little five-year-old and you're being mean to this rando on Switch Sports Online? But my sister in the room, she was just cackling anytime that guy used that emoji. Like, anytime I messed up. <laughs> I don't know, when I play Switch Sports and I use the little emoticons, I only put the sad face if I know I messed up. I will never use the sad face if my partner messed up. Cause that's mean, that's bully behavior. Yeah, I agree, Crystal. It's like, while you're actually good at the game? Imagine. Dude, I got totally plummeted at the end, but I still won. I still flushed. Okay, anybody want to change my character? Anybody? Anybody want to change it? Wow. I like looking at all the different loading screens now, it's cool. Anybody wanna change it or do you guys wanna keep Wario? And be meanies? Dude, it's so fucking hot in my room. It's not fun. My chair is like soaked. I find it funny now when you see the words in chat and realize it's supposed to be an emoticon. Yeah. It's weird watching Twitch on mobile when there are the third party extensions enabled, but that's just how it is. You gotta get used to it. But then it kind of forces you to like learn what the emote codes are. Like, I think one of the craziest emo codes I've seen is in Tectones, Lakari's, and Mizkif's chat. I don't know- I don't know what the actual emo code is, but it's essentially, like, an emoji for an emote of Tectone running. And it's like, Tectone running through the woods at full speed! Like, it's just super long! <laughs> like, the word code for it is insanely long. So whenever people spam the emote in chat, like, the whole chat is just spammed with words if you don't have the extension. And it's so funny. <laughs> I, I need to actually look it up what the emote code is called. It's so good. Like, it's intentionally meant to be obnoxious, but it's a pretty good gag. Because, like, I know all the emotes I have enabled are just, like, mainstream ones and, like, a few obscure ones. I think it would be fun. If any chatters want to make GIFs from stream and we can make them into third-party emotes because I think in order to have I think you get a few free slots to make custom emotes and then you have to pay a premium every month to keep them up if you want to have more slots so if any chatters want to do like edits or something go for it I was thinking about it and you know how there's like fan accounts for like any celebrity or creator where people will just make like fan cams or just like edits of videos of their long form content. If people want to do that, go for it. I'm not gonna copyright you. If I, even if I get big, I'm never gonna do that. So I, I wanna, I want people to be creative and like make stuff. I think that'd be fun. So if anybody wants to like make edits, go for it. As long as you don't like rip any pre-existing edits they have right now. Like, if we can get a piece in 17 fan account, that'd be pretty cool. No, come on, I cannot be fucking hit like this. Actually saved. What's happening? Nothing. 
<laughs> Nothing. Because, <laughs> like, I would love to be a fan editor, but I just don't have the time for it. Like... If I had gone into editing before pursuing streaming, I definitely would have been a fan editor. Because it's fun. Like, there was a time when I was in, like, high school, middle school, on my Tumblr account, where I made fan art. It's nothing crazy, Chatters. It's really fucking cringe-ass, simple, stroke, and fill line art. Or, fan art. It's fucking cringe. But... I think it's weird for people to expect their audience to make them... For- make something for them. But if people want to use it as like a creative outlet, like go for it. Yeah, I agree. Editing is fun. I think it's really satisfying whenever you have like a really good cut or like a final edit and you can be like, you know what, I did that. That's my favorite part of it. Because I know the edits I do for now are just for TikTok, so it's basically just me condensing like, a two-minute clip to 60 seconds, and it's really nice finding when I am able to, like, splice the audio nicely. I wish I could, like, I know basic VFX work, and I know basic, like, illustrations and such. I would like to make animatics, or, like, you ever see those satisfying, like, animation moves? Where, for example, it's, like, like a ball hitting off of blocks to land into a bowl or something and everything is timed perfectly and it's like a perfect loop. I love shit like that. Like if I was into 3D modeling, I would just make videos like that. Like that would be my shtick. Hi Potato, welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. But like I said, if any chatters want to make something related to stream, like even just editing VODs into like a clips account or something, do it. I know I have my own clips account on TikTok, but I, I would love to have more punchier edits, but I don't think it fits my current style of video. So if people want to make stuff, go for it. No! Why is there blue? How would that even work? Um, you would just flip the stream or I guess screen record and like save footage. If anybody wants to do it seriously, he messed up. No, I got first, bruh. I got fucking first. <laughs> Cause like, I was thinking about this last night. Wait, I got a hole. I got a farm for a clip. <laughs> hold, chatters. Hold. <laughs> oh, it's this track again. Sag. Hope. <laughs> Dude, I hate clip farming. It's so cringe. But it's just like, I've noticed anytime I post a clip and it's not of actual moving gameplay, people will click off. Oh my god! Okay, anyway. <laughs> now I can tell a story. Okay, it's not an actual story, but I was thinking about this last night. Because this week I have a week off of school, so I was like, you know what? I can use my time a little bit wi more wisely this week. And I thought to myself, what? is a long-term goal that I want to have in terms of like my career or creative endeavors and I think what I want to do is I know I, I know for myself I struggle with like rendering but I love concepting out ideas I would love to be a product manager or like a product or a project lead like I would love to have a production company like I like the idea of having a studio space where I can use or I can rent it out to artists to use and they can just have a place to make something like one of my short-term goals is whenever I do get an apartment or I'm able to like lease a house on my own I would love to have like a garage or like a big room dedicated to just art and making stuff I would love to have a ceramics room and if I can ever get to a point where I have like a big enough influence or I have enough money to start a company I would love to do that I mean, just giving people the opportunity to make something, I think is really beautiful. And like, I was thinking about it, and in order for those companies to succeed, you need a lot of money to start off with, or you need like a really dedicated crew who will help you get through the times where you aren't making revenue. 
But it's something I want to do in like 5-10 years. Because like I said earlier, I'm not going to sell the product until I can sell 100 units day one. And in order to sell a product with limited knowledge, you either have to have like a really good advertising campaign, a really good marketing plan, or a big audience. Not saying I would scam my audience, because that's bad. But I told myself, if I'm ever going to release a product, even if it's not stream related, it has to be good. Like, I don't want to sell dog shit, you know? When I did the editing stream, it was really useful. Really? I'm glad you got something out of it. Thank you. Welcome to stream. Pretty well today. You used to have an editing app? Sorry, I was rambling for that race. I'm sorry I didn't read anything, chatters. Like, I've considered making an alt account on, like, YouTube or TikTok to, like, just do regular edits, but... I don't know. I I'm trying to invest all my time into stream. Peace and backwater win. Dude... No, that's too much logistics for shipping, honestly. Not saying I would do it, but, but honestly. <laughs> Type a one in chat if you'd buy my bath of water. <laughs> Let's see what Shatter's self report right now. <laughs> okay, go Gamma, go Gamma, go Gamma. <laughs> Nobody better type one. That's a weird champ. I mean, cause like, I talked about it earlier, but I used to have- I'm not exposing myself. <laughs> um, I used to have an Etsy shop, and I sold earrings. Oh, I gotta show chat- chat remind me, during- when we, whenever we switch gears to Animal Crossing, I'll show you guys then. Um, anyway, and I- I literally sold none. It's because I didn't have a good marketing plan in place, I didn't have any means to advertise. I didn't have a big social media presence, and I think especially now with like the rise of TikTok and like Instagram Reels, it's essential to have like a social media manager to like help you post and like do advertising. Wait, I just thought, you know how we had the bathwater joke? Imagine we had a first time chatter and they just type one. <laughs> That's just their first message, just self reporting. We can't feel the vibes, they're just like one. <laughs> Oh my god, that'd be crazy. I'm kidding, lurkers don't do that. That'd be a very bad first impression. <laughs> oh! Oh damn, I, th I thought I could make that skip. I was going for the Megan skip right there. Wait, I forgot we can go for the skip at the end. Because we're at 200 CC, I totally blanked. Because I think the thing with Etsy shops is you can have one-off customers, but essentially you have to find a way to have people coming back and returning and buying stuff from your shop, like either once a month or every two months. Like you have to develop a product that can either be remade or have different variations made and increase production levels to a point where you can't produce that much every month. Um, expose yourself, lurkers? No. <laughs> lurkers don't. Don't. <laughs> um... I told myself if I'm ever going to launch a product, it wouldn't be on Etsy because the algorithm is not there for Etsy. And I would love- okay. This is if Megan ever has decent money. Because I think to have any type of business startup, you have to have at least 10k. And like the main cost of your expenses is going to be paying your workers that help you set up the base of your company. Um, you need to have another platform to promote it exactly. Like. Um, Chatters, remind me to show you the earrings before Animal Crossing, okay? Chatters, write it down, put a sticky note, remind me. Because I have to go find them. <laughs> oh, anybody want to change my character? Anybody? Anybody want to change it? Oopsie. <laughs> change it quick, quick, before I accidentally press A. But I told myself if I'm ever going to launch a product, um, I would want to make it myself. Like, we talked about this before, but the streamers who have, like, merch, I'm speaking in general, a lot of people do this, okay? I'm not calling anybody out. A lot of people do this. Where they'll just, like, have a PNG, upload the PNG, put it on a t-shirt, and call it merch. I think in order to have really good, well-designed merch or any type of clothing, you have to have a really good design sense. And I see a lot of merch that is bad. Or, like, really cringe or kind of too niche. And, like, I told myself, if I'm ever gonna launch clothing, I wanna have a clothing line. Redbubble, yeah, this is a fucking bad shit on Redbubble. Like, 
I'll make sure if I ever have merch or anything, I want it to be good. I want it to be great. I'm not gonna release dog shit. Like, I want, like, what the, okay, nobody chose we're doing Wario. Um, a big issue you'll see with those, um, like, one-off print shops where, like, anybody can make a shirt is you can't actually validate the quality of the actual, like, shirt or the print unless you, like, request, um, samples. And a lot of people don't. That's why you see a lot of dog shit, poorly printed merch. Like, I would, I would love, literally what I would love to do. The thing that would get me working back into the work industry is, um, I would love to work at a print shop. I was looking at ones in my local area, and there's a few, um, like, screen printing shops in, oh, there's a few screen printing shops in Seattle. Which is quite a bit away, away from me, but I kind of wanted to see what the industry standard is. And none of those shops are hiring because I was looking at the logistics of screen printing, like, for funsies online. They're like, like, I would love to get into screen printing, but it's a surprisingly more complex than it seemed. Like, you have to have, like, all this equipment is necessary because you're basically, like, bleaching your image onto the fabric. So it's, it's all, like, science shit and chemical shit that I didn't realize it was a lot more complex. But essentially, with screen printing, you don't need a lot of staff, and um, you just need machinery, and it's very simple to do once you have the equipment. Like, those print shops where they sell t-shirts, they basically sell, like, 50 shirts to, like, a little kid's soccer team, and that's their order for, like, a month. So it's not a very profitable business either, but... Anyway, the point I was gonna get into <laughs> was if I ever do, like, shirts, I wanna, I wanna make them. I wanna make them. Or I would, if I, if every production's level get to a point where, like, I can't make a thousand shirts, I would want to hire my own team. I'm not going to outsource it. it. Maybe I could outsource it to, like, a small independent print shop. But, like, I want to make anything that I sell. I think that's what true, that's how crafters are at their core. Like, you should make your own things. Like, you know how celebrities have their products and their branded products? Like, you can guarantee they don't ever go to the factory. Ah! <laughs> I, I cut him off at the end. Um, I was just saying, like, you can guarantee they're maybe in the writer's room, they maybe show for pictures, but they're not actually constituting out the product for the most part. Like, I, I feel like most celebrities don't have a massive say in the actual creative process, and I want to be involved in everything if I ever launch product or merch. I, I want to be there for every step of the way. But keep in mind, that takes a lot of money, so Megan's never doing merch until she's, like, a millionaire streamer. So, chatters, get on it. <laughs> if you want merch, we need a million subs right now. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very easy to fuck up a screen printing process as well. Because the reason why some designs will crack, um, those typically are, like, because there's synthetic and then water-based inks for screen printing. And water-based screen printing ink will weather and crack over time. But also, oh my god, I'm, I'm going way too early! <laughs> I, I don't know, I gotta look at that article again. Because I read like a, not 50 page, but like it was this long ass article breaking down every single like specific aspect about screen printing. Bye Nazir, we'll see you next time on. Enjoyed hanging out with you today, I hope you have a great day. Make sure you have freaking Nintendo online for Sunday. I better see you there, you've been stalling for months. <laughs> Hi, Annabelle. <laughs> Welcome to stream. Let me get some peace. I too, yo's in chat for Annabelle. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred names or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Yeah, TLDR of that, what, 10 minute side tangent about merch? Um, I'm not launching merch unless I can actually verify I can have, like, good employees. Until I can touch every single process. Of the until I can touch every single part of the creative process. No merch. <laughs> Dude, I am laughing people right now. This is gonna be me on Sunday, literally laughing all you little 14 year old brain dead chatters. <laughs> okay, the people with the triple shells are kinda scary. I'm not gonna lie. Great. That was a horrible line. Oh, blue shell! <laughs> hey, we're fine, we're fine. I got scared by the blue shell, but it's literally like a whole lap away. 
Did I get first? Of course I did, Obvi. On to the next one, guys. How many times did I not get first? I think two or three times, right? Dude, I was almost a perfect run today. And then I literally threw. Go get Jack, go Gamba, go Gamba. Go Gamba. Yeah, I, I totally get what you're saying, Issa. The other day, I think it was yesterday actually, I was making juice concentrate, so we essentially juiced fruit, and then we boiled it and put them into jars. And if anybody has made jams or anything and like did the boiling method, you're basically like standing beside a hot stove, stirring a pot for like one to two hours, waiting for your, your solution, or your jam liquid to boil. And then you gotta stand by the stove and like boil the jars once you're done jarring it. So, oh my god, and my mom, I felt so bad because she was tired because how we did it is she juiced the fruit and then I did the boiling and jarring process. So she spent like an hour juicing and I spent like two hours jarring and boiling because, so how it works is you put like a big ass pot on the stove and then you bring it to a boil and you pre-boil the jars and then you put the solution in the jars and then you boil it once to seal it. So it's been like 50 minutes and we're like, why isn't our pot boiling? And our house is old. It's like older than me so very old because i'm a boomer right and we look at the stove and like it's not boiling at all i touch the pot bad idea chatters not touch the pot if it's on the stove it's like ice cold i'm like oh no so we only have two coils on our stove meaning <laughs> so we have to like rotate the coils around to the proper burner so my mom turned the stove on without a coil on the stove <laughs> So it was just a pot sitting there on the stove without a coil for 50 minutes. And we were like, hmm, why is it not boiling? So I, ugh. <laughs> I wasted an hour yesterday in the hot ass kitchen. It was bad. BRB, okay, no problem, hun. Solution veg. I wish. My room past like 1 p.m. gets direct sunlight. So I am, like, boiling myself alive in this room right now. It is not good. And, like, last year we tried to jam outside, so we had, like, little portable burners, and we did it on, like, our, our deck outside. But it's still just as hot! And then you get flies and wasps and shit, because, you know, they like the sweet stuff. So, outside not any better, honestly. Like, slightly cooler, but also not any better. Like, I don't want any bugs in my jam. Yeah, I'm gonna win this one easy. No way, I don't lose. Oh! <laughs> I got distracted. I was looking at chat. It wasn't my fault. It's never my fault. Okay, just based on how far today is going, I think I got Sunday's tournament in the bag. I think it's pretty easy. So chatters, if you are here, make sure you are in stream on Sunday at 11. We are doing a viewer tournament exclamation tourney in chat for more info. So make sure you join. Make sure you race. If you get top three, you get VIP. Pretty poggy, am I right? Dude, I'm making my turns way too early. I hear this argument all the time where people are like, Oh, if your house is hot, just turn on the AC. Bitch, AC costs like sometimes 20 grand. So no way are we putting AC in our 50-year-old house. No way. Like, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> like, I think I have one fan in my room and my sister has two in her room. But... It sucks. Like, some people don't have fucking AC. It's not that easy. My neighbor does, and she's super nice. She's this nice old lady. And she's like, oh, anytime you guys can come over and, like, hang out in my house. And we're like, oh, thank you. And we did that last year, because I think last year was, like, the second hottest hot summer. But this year is going to be even worse. I 
I mean, like, I know AC is a good long-term investment, but... And not many people got 20k sitting around, you know? Oh, guys, I got first every single race this pretty Holy shit. I'm correct. Yeah, most modern houses come with AC, so we just got unlucky. Hi, Dage. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. You return the AC? It's like... Huh? AC is installed in your walls. How... You can't just yank it up. Wait, I, I assume you can, but... <laughs> okay, anybody want to change my character? I was gonna say, you can't just yank it from the wall, but I guess you can. <laughs> Hi, Digger. We're putting well today. Anybody want to change my character? I mean, I just picture. <laughs> yeah, I can't rip it out that easy, but I bet you can if you get like the Hulk or something. <laughs> okay, Chatters. Anybody want to change? Oh, it's a window unit? Okay, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Tanuki Mario, okay. Thank you for redeeming Potato. I appreciate that. I love when I tell my shouters to do something and they do it. three times today you shouldn't have done that well you know some chatters want to see me succeed and obviously Mac you're one of the chatters who want to see me fail so there's two different spectrums here <laughs> okay let's go but I'll get first I am stream <laughs> Dude, we need to do that first stream one day that'd be so fucking funny Imagine we do that for the subathon. <laughs> yeah, just scam everybody. That'd be crazy. I'm sorry, if you don't know, we're doing a subathon on my one year stream anniversary, which is going to be next Tuesday, August 2nd. So be there or be square. Attendance is mandatory, chatters. Even if you just open the stream and say hi, you need to do that. Fuck! Sorry, I got scared. I saw the red shell. It's so funny watching other players get hit with shells. Like, the animation is so, like, dramatic. Yeah, I'm talking way too loud for no reason, and I'm sorry. Did you say yeehaw? Is Mario okay, Kona? <laughs> I've been watching a lot of Extra Emily because she was on like Miskip's stream a few months ago and I love her stream so much. I think Extra Emily is on my auto host now so if you go to the bottom of my about section you should see her there or at the bottom of my homepage. I got first guys. We're not ending stream just yet. But it's so funny because she farms the most the whole stream and it's really funny. And like she's one of the few streamers who was like super positive and energetic. It's kind of crazy to me. I've been loving your streams. Like, I stayed up all night watching her play Cuphead the other night. And I, I fell asleep watching the stream. <laughs> My phone was dead the next morning. But. Okay, Janet, go Gamba, go Gamba. You think I'll get first place? You know what? I love doing computers on stream. Because it makes me feel like I'm good at the game. Like, I imagine people coming in. Thinking it's online. And they're like, oh my god, Megan's correct the game, but it's actually just computers. <laughs> it's like, all the clips that I'm bad at, that I repost, they're all online. Like, I'm correct at computers. <gasps> that wasn't nice. I was about to grab a Link, but then I got hit by somebody else. Unfair. 
Me sleeping is pulling a Megan? What? What do you mean by that? I've never fallen asleep on stream. M maybe there might have been a few times when I played Odyssey or something last year. But I'm not a resident sleeper, okay? I'm not a boring streamer. <laughs> oh, frick. Oh, you're saying that because I fell asleep watching a stream the other day. Lum out. Oopsie. Never mind. I'm trolling. I'm trolling. That would be a boomer move, yeah, actually. I mean, that's, I think that's part of the appeal. Like, I know when I fall asleep, like, I have to be, like, listening to something, whether it be, like, music or, like, watching a video. It's kind of like when you fall asleep with the TV on. It's kind of like that. But I cannot stand if there's, like, a fan on. Like, it's gonna be a long time to get used to, like, having the fan on when I fall asleep. Because I don't like tones. Or, like, hums. Like, I like hearing people talk. You know what's actually really sad? I played a little bit of Fall Guys over the weekend, and I got so close to getting a victory royale. I got so goddamn close, but I would throw every single time. I didn't clip them because I told myself I'm only gonna clip if I win. And I have not gotten another solo crown wins for two weeks now. And I'm like itching for a win. But chatters. I finally gave in. And I might have bought in some of the premium Fall Guys coins. So maybe tomorrow we'll buy the season pass, maybe. But we'll we'll talk about that tomorrow. What'd you get? I didn't buy anything. I'm gonna let chat decide what I buy tomorrow. That fuck! Sorry, that was actually freaking loud. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> now that I'm allowed to curse, I'm gonna curse as much as I freaking want to. I threw. But chatters, I'll let you guys choose what I buy tomorrow. You guys either let me buy a skin or buy the season pass. We'll talk about that more tomorrow. So chatters, if you want to see Fall Guys, tune into the stream tomorrow. 11 a.m. PSD. Dude, imagine if I play Mario Kart every day. That'd be fucking boring. I never understand the streamers who play the same game every stream. I don't think I could do that. It's just like, my attention, I cannot- I can't do the same thing every day. Like, I- I would not be able to do that. That's the big reason why I changed my content a few months ago to like, do a different game every day for the three days that I do stream. Cause like, I know variety content isn't a good way to grow, but I feel like if you have your regular viewers get used to the games you want to play, then they'll show up. Because at its core, I understand some audience, or a part of your audience will watch for whatever game you play. But people at its core have to like your personality or commentary style. And if your commentary can stand and like be entertaining in whatever game you play or whatever you do on stream, I think that's a lot more valuable. Yeah, I get what you're saying, but people think variety is bad. But I think variety has done me well. Because I think the big thing is people like consistency as well. So if I say I'm variety but my schedule isn't as structured as I have it, then people wouldn't like it. That's the big reason why I do like game of the day for two hours, Animal Crossing, and then just chatting. Because no matter what time of the stream you come in, you know what I'm doing. It's very structured and segmented. So if somebody comes in like three hours in the stream, they're like, oh, she's probably just finishing Animal Crossing doing just chatting. Oh my god, no way, no fucking way, no, no way. Oh, I'm laughing, Luigi, okay. Actually, safe. <laughs> what? Well, the people who are here and my regulars, they're used to variety. Because I, I molded you guys that way. Right? You like variety? I know, I love variety content too. Like, like I said, if it's my favorite streamer, I will watch literally anything they do. Like, I will have- Okay, Hassan's my favorite. Self-reporting, he's my favorite. Like, I will watch literally anything he does. Unless he does a, a Vice react, because I think the- Or, no. Not a Vice react. It- What is- The Vice is actually good. What is it? I forgot the fucking outlet, though. Um. 
It's the one where they're like, who is the secret mole? Where they're like, we have five gay people and one secret straight guy. Who is the straight guy? Like those other videos, I don't like those. I don't like when he does those reacts. Otherwise, I love all his content. You love the schedule? I'm glad to hear that. I think it's also really helpful for like VOD watchers too. That way they can like look through the VOD and know what basically indirectly what around the timestamp. Like I know some chatters like Mario Kart and some people just like Animal Crossing, so I know people can like look through the VOD or come into the live at a specific time and they know what to expect. I think it's really good. Oh my god! I hate Link. Okay, for some reason, I love this track, but it's definitely the most difficult to do, and I don't know why. Like, it seems so simple, but the lines are so zigzaggy that it's surprisingly complex. Yeah, he is seeing Yeehaw, isn't he? I need to enable Kekona. I keep forgetting. Okay, chatters, remind me during Animal Crossing to enable Kekona and then earring check. I think if you're gonna play the same game every stream, you have to be good at the game. I think that's the issue. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't think people could watch me fail at Mario Kart every day. I think that'd be kind of bothersome for some people. <laughs> no! No! Frick! 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 Actually, fuck! No, I was going for the 200cc skip! Dude, if I didn't go for the skip, I would've clutched. I mean, frick. Okay, chatters. I want to add uh, another channel point redemption, but I don't know what to add. But I don't want them to be cringe, okay? What if we did no cursing? Would you guys like that? For like, no cursing for five minutes? You go all in on Gamba? Okay, dude. Bet. Do it, bitch. <laughs> I mean, I, did, I didn't mean to call you that. I was trolling. I was trolling. Maybe. I know Scootish has a no cursing, but he messes up every time. I clipped my table. Let's see. If we're gonna do no cursing for a channel point, I feel like there'd have to be a stake involved. Like, if I mess up, then I owe you guys something. Okay, check. Change my character. This might be our last pre of the day, so if you want to change, choose your character now. Fall Guys every day, I think that would actually make me brain broken. Like, genuinely. I don't... There's a reason why I don't play Mario Kart every day. There's a reason why I don't play Fall Guys every day. It's because I would get mad. If you mess up, you sing WAP. No! Oh, uh, Q, you gotta use your channel points. You gotta use your channel points. In the bottom left corner of your chat box. Chatters, you gotta use your channel points. You can't get it for free. We can't be scamming everybody else who spent points. That's not fair. If nobody picks, we're gonna do Toadette. Because I haven't played her in a long time. Five, four, three, two, one. Be it, or Toadette. <laughs> okay. Okay, Peach. Okay, just in time, Q. Just in kind. Thank you for redeeming. <laughs> you like slid in there. Okay. Those points won't be put to waste. I was editing like a VOD. Get VIP of fail no cursing? No! VIP is too much power. Chatters. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> Gift it to a random chatter. How would we do it randomized though? That's not fair. Or a gift VIP to the person who redeemed it? Oh, shit. Gift me VIP? No, Chatters, you have to earn that badge. Either you know me, you're my friend, or you win the tourney. Those are your three options. And one, you are not my friend. <laughs> so obviously you can't do one of the two options. <laughs> 
Oh, anyway, I was editing a VOD and I was playing as Cat Beach and I was getting so annoyed with their cat noises. So thank you for redeeming. <laughs> I get scared by the chain jump every time. It's so bad. No protection, nothing I can do. It's the very first time you used your channel. Oh, nice. Was it fun? How many do you have left, you? Dude, I. <laughs> What day am I doing the sketch cards? I'm doing them on August 1st after the calligraphy writing my followers' names card stream. So we'll be doing them next or this upcoming Monday. Bye, well, Crystal. We'll see you next time, hun. Hope you have a great day. You better be practicing for the tourney on Sunday, Crystal. You need that bad, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, because I think on Monday's calligraphy stream, we're going to be doing writing all my followers' names as usual. I think this month I've gained 50 followers, so I, I kind of fell off for the month of July. But that's fine. I don't care about follower count. So after that, we're going to be doing this portrait sketch card. So chatters, if you give five subs to the channel by the end of the month, you'll get a custom portrait card drawn for you on stream. So any secret Oilers or... Or pay pigs. Show your true colors. <laughs> and then after that, we're gonna be painting the wallpaper for the subathon on Tuesday. That'll be Monday stream. You need to practice if you're too lazy. Well, practice right now, honey. Practice. You got 151 left. Damn, you spent almost all your points. Damn. I mean, you'll get them back quickly, Q. I promise you'll get them back quickly. They don't, cause I think you get. You get 10 every. F oh wait, it actually tells you. If you click on the channel point and you scroll to the bottom, it says how to earn medallions and it tells you like the multipliers or like how to earn more points. We can get like a few hundred points per stream if you lurk or if you watch, so. Hey chat, go Gambit, go Gambit! Okay, we've had two sand levels in a row. And you guys know I hate the sand level. <laughs> Dude, I dodged that like a pro. Okay, I have no idea how to do this line. Okay, that one is actually pretty good, though. You're probably just gonna win the tournament. Honestly, that's how I do it, too. Because I used to play Mario Kart a lot off-stream, but then once I started streaming it, I kind of just don't play it offline anymore. Sometimes I will, but I think Mario Kart is a lot more fun when you're playing with someone. So, like, if, my, if the one in a million chance my sister wants to play, we'll do online. But she's been into, like, Switch Sports, so we've been playing a lot of that. Okay, because, like, my sister and I are cracked at volleyball. You guys are never going to see it because she never wants to be on camera. Sad. But if you guys could see it, we are fucking cracked at volleyball. Because, like, I am the master at doing quicks, and she is the best at, like, saving the ball. So we are the dream team. I know, it's crazy. The actual formation of Meg Esports is back in April. It's wild to think about... Like, time has passed so quickly, you know? But you know, I'm not that old. <laughs> not a freaking boomer. I know, does anybody know? Does anybody's uncle works at Nintendo? Does anybody know when the next wave is coming out? Because I need to know. Mark Anthony, I need to know. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting boomed. Does anybody know that song, I Need to Know by Mark Anthony? Or Mike, Mark Anthony? I 
I don't know the lyrics. I know some of the chorus where it's like... Wait, I don't know it. I don't know it. I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I know the final verse of the chorus is like... Tell me, baby girl, cause I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Tell me, baby girl, cause I need to know. It's a really good song. It popped off in the 2000s. Any fellow millennial but technically Zoomers know that song? Hey, judges, go Gamba, go Gamba. This is our second to last race of the day. I feel like if you make coffee and stuff, it'll make you less lazy. 5.3k! Holy shit, any doubters? Oh my god, you're crazy. Okay, that was actually a really bad start. I'm sorry. Uh oh. No items? Uh oh. Any doubters? We have 5.3k, I believe. 69 on doubt, funny chatter. Dude, if I lose here, granted, I won't feel bad. Because if you gamba, it's your fault. You know, I do allow you guys to gamba, but it's not my fault if you go all in and lose. You guys have self-agency. Who <laughs> put all those points in? I think it was Wolf, right? I have no prediction! Great. So no, nobody get mad if you lose your points. Because I tell myself I only gamble points of what I can afford to lose. You crazy for the gamble? Yeah. I mean, Gamba is fun. It's definitely, like, my favorite part of stream. I wish more streamers did predictions, or, like, had their mods do predictions. Because, like, it's a nice, fun way to interact with the stream. Dude, Nyx, are you okay? Did that just happen? Or did that happen, like, the other day? Fuck. Are you okay, hon? I was gonna say, I hope you're doing well, but I, I guess not. What the fuck? You're fine? Okay. I, I I just imagine- I just imagine Nyx sitting in their car, open the stream, just type that in the chat. <laughs> Dude. Fuck, breaking your hand is like the worst. Like, I- okay. I know breaking your le leg sucks. Like, not being able to move, but like, losing mobility in your hands or your arm? I don't think I can handle it. But you need to rest up. Follow any recommendations your doctors say. Aren't you in nursing school? You know what to do, Nix. But follow your doctor's recommendations. Don't push yourself. It's very easy to overexert yourself when you feel like you're able to, but you don't know the physical limits of your body. But take care of yourself, hon. your work be angry with you like if you're injured it's not your fault like i never understand that. like i get i don't get why companies will like write you up for taking too many sick days and I, I generally don't get it because like the reason why you stay home when you're sick even pre-pandemic is when you don't want to get your co-workers sick you don't want to get your customers sick like i don't get why companies will write you up for that type of shit i don't get it because they don't care about it yeah I know that's what it is, but it's still unfortunate to see that big corpa doesn't care about the little guy, but that's just how capitalism is, right guys? Dude, I love capitalism. <laughs> see, Nyx, me and Mac, <laughs> or Mac and I, we're training to get our license, and you come in saying, Oh, my car got totaled. We're like, fuck. Shit. I mean, it's fine. Accidents happen. And I feel like everybody on the road should do their best to try and protect themselves and also others. Like, make sure when you're driving, you're being aware. Don't text and drive. That's actually a dumb shit. That's how people die. Because, like, okay, my biggest concern about driving is, like, I know I will try my best to, like, pay attention to that type of thing. But you can't guarantee that other people will do the right thing and, like, not run a red light. Like, it, it's not fun to think about. Like... I don't know. 
Yeah, because my parents got into a pretty bad accident like two years ago, and like their back is all fucked up, but it's like... It, it's wild to think how quickly your life can change in such a short amount of time. And that's why like I'm scared of driving. Like, I will get over that anxiety, but... It's not- it's not fun to think about. Anyway, let's- I guys, look, I got first! <laughs> that's okay, Nick, so you take it easy, okay? Like I said, make sure you're following any recommendations your doctors say. And just be careful. Not worth pushing yourself too much physically. Anyway, talking about pushing yourself, I need nice to push your pockets and your wallets because we are in another hour in the stream, so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads. <laughs> Dude, that transition felt scummy. <laughs> but chatters, so you can subscribe for free. If you link your Amazon account to your Amazon Prime account, or if you link your Twitch to your Amazon Prime, you get a free sub every month. But that ad is coming. After that break, we are going to switch gears to Animal Crossing. And... Oh yeah, we're just going to switch gears to Animal Crossing. So if you're new to stream, how Animal Crossing works, we do our dailies, we catch up on our island, and we have more time to chit-chat with the chat room. So if you want to talk to me, ask questions, now is the time too. Before we run that ad, though, I just posted a new TikTok, so if you're gonna watch the ad, you might as well go watch that TikTok clip. It'll fill up that minute slot, so chatters, go follow me on TikTok, go watch that video, go like it, go leave a funny haha -ha comment. Okay, that ad is coming. Get some water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. <laughs> There's your copy pasta, chatters. Okay, well, that was pretty good. I did decent. I think I'm ready for next week's tournament. I think I am ready to go. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna change the game. Also, look at the shirt. Isn't it cool? The, the cutout sleeves are interesting. It's a look, and I love it. It is so hot in my room. Look at the white balance. It's so fucked because it's so warm in my room. Like, the warm lighting. Oh, it's not rose anymore, but it, it went kind of reddish. I didn't even change my white balance setting. It's still like looking funny, kind. Did I change my title or keep it the same? I think it's kind of funny to leave it like that. Okay. Hey, look, see how warm the white balance got there? It looked pink. I think it's because there's a lot more natural light in my room right now. You like it big funny? I think I'm gonna take out the tourney part and just change it to commands. I think that'll make more sense because we're not playing Mario Kart. Practicing for the most difficult challenge I've ever faced. No messing around! Exclamation tourney. Exclamation tip, because I want to farm. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, wait, chatters. I need to... What do I need to do? I need to show you the earrings. It, that's what I need to grab. Wait, where did I put them? These I two. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, chatters. I... Don't go anywhere. Don't say bad words. I'm gonna find those earrings real quick. Real quick, okay? I fucking hate Boomer. chatters i got so mad because you know how we were aurora hunting and i didn't find her and like literally the house the plot got filled the next day and i got fucking hounds 
These are the earrings I made. They're made out of silk cans. Aren't they cute? Notice I don't I don't have any piercings, but I made like magnetic ones. Let's let's do a quick fit check just so we can see the length. I have literally hundreds of these. Yes, literally none sold. Look at isn't that cute? This one actually matches my fit today. Daddies, would you buy this? <laughs> oh, so cause like you look at the details. Cause like a lot of them are this basic flower shape with the it's not focusing. With the like petal dangles and they're all different colors. Some have beads. This version is a flower cut out and then has beads instead of the petal dangle. So I have like hundreds of these. Because none of them sold. But I because like I kinda wanna dress more femme. I don't know. I've been in that mood recently. So I might make like magnetic alterations to these. Because, like, you just, if, if anybody has beaded or crafted before, all you need to do is take off. Because, like, it's all jump rings. It's fucking easy. But, okay. That's the thing I was conflicted because I had them listed for, like, $10. But the cost of goods, literally pennies to make this. Because the cans are free. I mean, you buy the soda pop. But, like, essentially, you just have to clean it. It's just labor. And they're very easy to clean. The only concern I had is, since they are soda cans, yes, any, any dangling earring will get caught, but, um, like the edge, because the cutter I use, it kind of bevels the edge, bevel meaning kind of curves the edge a little bit, um, it's like, see how I'm running my finger against it? I'm not cutting myself, like the edges. There's no need to sand them, so you're not gonna, like, slice yourself unless you, like, actually try. Um. These, would, these are what I tried to sell on Etsy. None sold. Like, literally none sold. Like, my mom, one of her friends bought one, but it wasn't off of Etsy, so I made five bucks. Just cash. Um. Like, I have a lot of these. I, I have no idea what to do with them. Like, maybe I'll start wearing them myself. It's like I said, I want to try to dress more femme, but... I know, that's my failed business attempt, Chatters. I tried to be a small business owner, it didn't work. <laughs> like I said, I feel like in order to be successful on Etsy, you have to have a pretty, either significant media presence already, or have a really good marketing campaign and other social media accounts. And if you look on like my Instagram, you can probably find pictures of these. Like I tried to take somewhat professional like posed pictures of the product, and I thought they looked good, but whatever. It just wasn't my desired path, though. Yeah, small businesses be tough. Like like I said, the only way to be successful with a small business is you have to develop a product that people will consistently buy. Like, you know, I feel like subscription, um, subscription services are really in right now. For like, you know, like, people are used to subscriptions, whether it be through like, TV, their streaming services. So people are used to subscriptions. So if you have a product that people can buy every month or every two months, you're set. You have a guaranteed customer. Because if you can get even like a hundred people, maybe fifty people buying twenty dollars worth of product every month, that's that's pretty good. I mean, fifty times twenty, a thousand. I mean, that's not a lot of money, but still, if you can have guaranteed income, guaranteed customers, that's the only way you can justify starting a small business, in my opinion. Anyway, enough show and tell time. <laughs> Let's get started with Animal Crossing. So chatters, if we want any sponsors for me to sell earrings, we need a million subs. That's what we need, guys. <laughs> okay, enough shilling. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Timbaland, it is 1 p.m. on Tuesday, July 26, 2022. Chatters, look, exactly 1 p.m. Crazy. The most fashionable of the Able Sisters, LaBelle, is visiting us in Timbaland today. She says she needs volunteers to help with some research. If you have time, please visit her in the plaza. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Paddle change? I, I, I want to keep it the same. I think it's funny. <laughs> Practicing. Oh, maybe I'll change it to the most difficult challenge I've ever faced. <laughs> okay. Okay, I changed it to the most difficult challenge I've ever faced. <laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> 
Okay, it's not necessarily a clickbait, but I think it's funny. <laughs> oh, sorry, I clicked my mic. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> okay, I need to change my fit. I'm bored of this kimono. I've been wearing it all weekend. The most difficult challenge I've ever faced. <laughs> See, okay, if we have any streamers in chat or streamers lurking, what you need to do is you need to have the craziest title. I clicked. See, it works. It works. Wait, I wanted to do... Okay, I'm going to self-report. Chatters, I'm going to self-report. Okay, that's the wrong shade of blue. Dude, I am such a fan of, like, the schoolgirl outfits. I think they're so cute. Yeah, okay, I, I said I'm self-reporting. Okay, I think they're cute. I think they're adorable. Because we never had that. Stop! Don't! Do not, do not say anything. I think they're cute. This is technically a sailor uniform. Yeah, see, sailor shirt. Okay, tennis skirt. I think they are cute. Okay. Should have kept that one in the vault. No, it's not that crazy. Like I said, I'm I'm self-reporting. Okay, that's cute. Oh my god. Okay, the glasses don't match. Mask off. <laughs> you know, I say that, but I like the school uniform skirt, so. I mean, they're cute, okay? They're cute. The trainers are too clunky. I don't like that. Cute? Okay, I'm saying cute to be wholesome, okay? I'm self-reporting. I'm openly self-reporting. I think the flats. Yeah, that does look weird with the... We all know what you mean. Okay. True. If you know, you know, I guess. Let's change to the flats. You're right. I don't like the bows now. They're They're a bit too much. There you go. I like the neutral. Okay, now let's get started with our day. Enough self-reporting. Oh! Over the weekend. I did. Get. I got purple tulips. Look at that. Did you get anything else? Oh, I got more green mums. Let's go. And I also got a handful more purple pansies. Okay, so let's see what we need to do today. So what I've been doing offline is... Oh, I actually don't have here. I got- I finally got the storage shed. I had no idea that this would let you open your storage and like get stuff from your storage like any place you put it. So... What I've been doing... <laughs> Oh, I also planted the peach and oranges that I got. Thank you, Mac. Once again, thank you, Mac. Drake's in chat for Mac. Um, I'm surprised no one messed here for flowers during the event. Honestly, I trust my chatters. And if I lost a few flowers, it would have been fine. If people wanted flowers, you could have like, asked and I would have given it to you. Like, honestly. I was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so basically, I have a lot of food left over from the cooking event. 
So essentially, I will spend like an hour or two each day just crafting recipes. And I am so fucking rich. I have nearly 4 million bells now. Let's go. Meg Esports for Animal Crossing no longer needs a sponsor because we are loaded. We are locked and loaded. You were scared too? What's the worst that could happen? You get banned? <laughs> Is that the worst thing that could happen? Hi, <laughs> Kirby. Welcome to stream. <laughs> Hope we're doing well today, on. Yeah, so I think the next Animal Crossing event is probably going to be the, either the second Sunday or the two weeks before the next month tourney. I think we're going to do fishing. So I want to do a fishing tourney. Like, I'm thinking about how to run it too. I think what I'm going to have to do is I don't want people to catch as many fish as they can because there's no way to like monitor that. I think what we'll need to do is... People will have to try and catch a specific fish, and whoever catches that f fish wins. Gotta get me a fishing pit? Yeah! Make esports might also supply fishing uniforms. There might also be a new exclusive skin. Oh, chatters! If you were here for the Animal Crossing stream, but you don't follow me on Twitter, I posted a exclusive uh, Meg Esports themed fan custom design on Twitter, so if you aren't already, go check it out on Twitter. Because I forgot to show it on stream during the event. Whoopsie! Because I want to make sure people get something from it. Every month. Kind of like how for the tourney, we have the VIP. We don't necessarily have like a long-term prize for the Animal Crossing, but I want people to get like the designs. I think I can handle that. Yeah, I saw you got the hat, Mag. I didn't even post the hat. You fucking... You probably like, screenshotted the stream or something. You little troll. <laughs> that was an unofficial, unreleased design you yoinked in war. But it's fine, I don't care. Oh, fuck it! Damn it. I threw. I didn't mean to chop that one down. You told me to? Oh, I guess I did. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. If I didn't want to show it, I wouldn't have showed it. So I'm just trolling. I say trolling way too much. Like, I was on the phone with my friend last night. Oh, big fish. And, like, any- Because, like, the way we'll talk to each other when we're joking, we'll be very blunt. In the sense of, like, even if we're joking, we'll say it very, like, dead, t dead tone. Or, like, neutral. To where you can't really tell if they're joking or not. So anytime, like... What was it? Like, I said something in, like, a serious tone. And then they paused, and I was like, I'm trolling. And they're like, okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> or, like, I'll say, like, I'm goofing, I'm gaffing. But I think my default phrase is, is now, like, I'm trolling. No! Frick. Okay, we're playing Animal Crossing. There's no need for me to scream now. All the lurkers are clutching their ears because I scream. Sorry, I'm just looking at my title and it's insane. In Mario Kart, doesn't Daisy say whoopsie daisy? Is that one of her phrases? Oh, Chowder's Dental Reminder, if you guys want to do art today, you have to use your channel points. I feel like people forget. So just Dental Reminder. Oh, how are my pockets full? Oh, anyway. <gasps> Thank you for redeeming, Mac! I appreciate that. I wanted to do art today. Because <laughs> we didn't do it at all last week and I was sad. But but thank you, Mac. We'll do that sketch card after Animal Crossing. Thank you, Mac. I love when my chatters listen to me. You guys are like my little minions. Hi, Seno. Welcome to stream. Hope we're doing well today. Wait, chat, chat. Wait, go back, go back. Look how many mouths I have. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I forgot to empty out all the food because I was crafting last night and then I fell asleep. That was the problem. Yeah, see, look, I cooked for like two hours last night. Look how much money I got. <laughs> I know I could look up and see which recipes give you the like the best profit, but what I have found, I think the recipe that gave me the most money. Nobody tell me which one actually gives you the most, but I found that the peach pie and the orange pound cake sold for a pretty good amount, and then the Mainstream soup sold for a lot, so I've been trying to craft those offline. How long did it take me to clean up from the cooking competition? Probably like 10 minutes. Like, I just had to put everything back in my inventory. Um, like I said, I want to actually start decorating. I, I know I said before I don't want to terraform, but I think I kind of want to now. I'm still debating what I want the thing to be. I kind of want my island to be like a farm town. Like, I kind of want every island to have like a mini plot of like crops or they have like trees or something. We should have left a big mess. <laughs> no, that would have been mean. That would have been bully behavior. So I'm still thinking about what I want to do. I mean, I've been saying that for what weeks now? <laughs> How I want to decorate. Like, I'm just happy playing the game and, like, doing my dailies. Like, I think that's the... That's my favorite part. Like, I just like logging in, crafting, chopping trees. Uh, oh, frick, I scared it away. We should have put a bunch of pitfalls. That would have been mean. I mean, you could have. I mean, do that next month, I guess. But then you're self-reporting. Dude, I want- I just realized yesterday when I logged in, we had a campsite villager and I didn't check it. Fuck! Dude, what if that was Aurora? Oh no, cause like I logged in at like 8pm last night and I just quickly did my dailies I forgot to check the campsite. Dude, what if it was her? Fuck! Dude, okay, let's just let's just pretend it wasn't her. Cause if I if I keep thinking about it, I'm gonna spiral. I'm gonna freak out. <laughs> Dude, actually throwing. Yeah, I, I didn't check the campsite yesterday. Oh no! Oh no! Oh fuck! No, it wasn't her. It wasn't her, guys. No, it was. It wasn't her. <laughs> Can Aurora even spawn in the campsite? <laughs> she left my island to visit you and gave up. Oh no. No, no, it wasn't her. No way it could have been her. The probability of it being actually her literally impossible. Damn. Big Sedge. No, I'm spiraling. <laughs> See, my doctor tells me when I start spiraling or potentially having an anxiety attack, you know what you need to do? You need to identify and focus on your rational and then irrational thoughts. Because when you have too many irrational thoughts, meaning things that probably won't happen or things that are improbable, that's what makes you spiral. And I was like, Doc, you're right. And I haven't had a panic attack or a- wait. Yep, I haven't had an anxiety attack for two weeks. Drake's in chat for me. Anyway, this is- that's as much as I'm sharing. <laughs> I mean, but seriously, when you start thinking about your thoughts and, and the aspect of like, will they actually happen? Or is it reasonable to think this way? 
it definitely has helped with minimizing my anxiety. Because I know with my anxiety, it's more like... I tend to overthink things, and then because of that, I... I think of things that won't necessarily happen, or things that are, like, very irrational. I don't know, that's what my dox is, and it's been working, so... tried eating sour candy to stop a panic attack? Is that a thing? Somebody chatters, somebody look this up for me. Is this actually a thing? Is it? Okay, the only way I can see that kind of working is like sour candy is very overwhelming like it kind of overtakes all of your other senses and kind of makes you focus on just sour candy. Is that it? Like is it more of a mental thing? Because I've never heard of that, but it kind of seems like it would make sense. Kind of. Maybe. kind of funny watching I don't know this person's name but they were just like staring at their flamingo <laughs> I think the funniest thing to do in the game is when you see like a villager observing fruit or a tree and then you chop the tree down or you harvest the crop and they're just like huh <laughs> I think it's so funny just ruining their fun they're trying to study agriculture and you just chop the tree down I think it's such a power move. just like oh not cool bro <laughs> the citric acid makes you salivate and triggers a nerve in your brain that can help you distracted by the thing you're panicking about okay well that makes sense like that's kind of what i would say like even having no knowledge that's what it seems like it would do but i hate sour candy so i don't think that'll help me <gasps> butterfly food that has a super intense flavor whether it be like spicy food or sour food or even sometimes food that's over seasoned or too sweet i don't like it i think it's too overbearing like i'm the kind of, i'm the type of loser who likes bland food like i love me some unseasoned mashed potatoes or something like i'm boring My sister's the complete opposite. She doesn't like spicy, but she doesn't mind it. But she, okay, she will add curry powder to everything. Like any savory dish she has, she adds curry powder to it. Like my mom made, she made clam chowder the other night, and my sister added like nearly a whole teaspoon of curry powder to it. Cause I was like, why are you doing that? She's like, I just like the taste of curry. I'm like, yeah, but I don't feel like it would. Be good in like a like a creamy savory soup 
like, she's weird, okay? She's very picky, but she's got some weird-ass food combos. I think I got some weird ones, too, but... I think adding curry powder to everything kind of weird. Like, sometimes she'll just add curry powder to, like, rice. And have that. I'm just like, okay. Hi, Crystal. Welcome back. <laughs> Literally throwing your points away. Mashed potatoes and Takis? No. I don't like Takis, that's why. They're too spicy for me. I'm a little wimp. Like, anytime I would try the hot Cheetos, I would D-E-D. -E like, I like the texture of the Takis chip, but it's just the flavor is too strong. Takis are mid? Uh-oh. Mac is trying to fight other chatters right now. I feel like I would enjoy that if I liked curry powder. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's got- I, the way I can kind of equate it to what she does is it's like the people who put all seasoning on everything. That's the way I can equate it to. Like, she's just quirky like that. I'm always down to fight. Okay. Okay, dude. Yeah, I think the only fruit that I need to keep for cooking is peaches and oranges. <laughs> Mid opinion. I agree with most of Max's takes, but yes, some are pretty mid. Do any- okay, are there any chatters who agree with all my takes? Cause that'd be crazy. I feel like that's one of the things that people, I, or was, was it's something that I enjoy about streamers, is I like learning their opinions, learning their values, and their outlook on, like, on life. I think that's my favorite part of like watching a, a streamer or like any content creator, like learning more about them, I think is really interesting. Because I think me as a person, I just like hearing people's stories. Like, I know for me, if a TikTok video comes up on a For You page and it's like a story time, like a six-parter, I will watch all of it because I just want to hear what they're going to say. I never have a mid take, sure. Sure did. I give most of them, yeah, I got some wild takes sometimes. I got some crazy ones, but nothing too crazy. <laughs> I mean, some of you guys haven't heard, because like, I don't talk about like, politics or current issues too much, because I feel like, even though this is like, I feel like a lot of people here are either a part or a are aware of the queer community. I feel like a lot of the people here do believe in more progressive values or simply democratic values. But I'm just not ready to have people be contrarian with those type of things because those are things that are very important to me in my own like lifestyle. And it, that's the thing with politics is people are so heavily tied to them based on like their upcoming their upbringing or like their morality and it's very difficult when your outlooks are invalidated like it's different if they're proven wrong through fact and science but when people try to prove their beliefs based on fallacies or talking points to me that is not a way you should live and form your morality like you should base your opinions off of facts and actual reality yeah, that's why I like <sighs> a lot of talking post points on both sides, primarily the right, are based off of fallacies and outright non-factual things or things that aren't seen in reality. And it's unfortunate. But at its core, it, it targets the vulnerable or the uneducated. That's why I don't like it. But like I said, both sides of media do do that. Do, do that. What was I going to say? What was I going to leave that point onto? Oh, I think the last thing I'll say about that is don't blindly trust any media source you consume. They're always going to have an agenda, whether it be positive or negative or exploitative or potentially educational. Always question whatever media you consume. Make sure it's valid information you're consuming. In the sense of make sure there's like statistics and data supporting whatever claim they make. Yeah, PSA 2. Hmm. <laughs> And also, I think the biggest thing that I try to live my life by is I try to live my life empathetically. 
Yes, there are times where I will be verbally combative or argumentative, but at its core, live your life empathetically. Like, accept that some people will be different than you, but do so in a respectful way. Yeah, I, I feel like... <laughs> I There was a stream... <gasps> uh oh! Have I ever done a Pokemon? I was like, no, I would literally die in a video game and real life. No, I don't want to hang out with you, Antonio. You're fucking lame. Um, I do have LGBTQ tagged, and a lot of my unique viewers are people new to stream. Um, they find me through that tag. <laughs> okay, honestly, honestly. I think it's wild when you see, like, a minority or a queer person identify with the Republican Party. I think it's insane. Like, actual brainwashing shit because a lot of Republican values are inherently Christian or Anglo-Saxon and they don't support your... They don't support you. It's fucking crazy. Uh, the reason why a lot of people will associate with the Republican Party, even if it's against their identity, whether it be the minority or their identity, or their queer identity, is because of the religious aspect of it, and it's insane to me. Like, they will vote for politicians who will, yeah, advocate against your rights, will advocate against your livelihood, your ability to live in the States if you're an immigrant. It's crazy. I don't... They're obviously brainwashed. They're obviously dumb. <laughs> Our rights. <laughs> Uh, what was I going to say? Anyway, TLDR, live your life with empathy, understand and accept that some people may be different from you, but try to understand their perspectives and treat them with respect. Um, because you can't change who you are, but you can always change your perspective on things. No matter how you are raised, no matter what you are taught, no matter what you learn in school, you can always re-educate yourself further. And hear other people's stories. Anyway, that's our our deep rant for today, chatters. Take notes. Be a better person. I mean, I feel like all my chatters are nice, but still. Treat people with decency and respect. And it is something that you learn how to do over time. Like I said, maybe you were raised a certain way. Maybe you were taught different things, but you can still learn. <laughs> Women's rights. Let's go. I love American politics. <laughs> no, you didn't spam, Wolf. You're fine. You're fine. To me, okay, I love spam in the sense of if it's relevant. Like, it's fine. If we're small, it's fine if people type messages all the time. Like, if one person is chatting, that's totally fine, because they're still small. But to me, okay, to me, spam is if you're typing the same message over and over again. That, to me, bugs the shit out of me. If I, okay, I've explained this before, chatters. But when we are small, I want to train you guys into be good chatters, in the sense of, let's pretend, Megan is a big streamer, okay? Megan is a hundred Andy. I have a hundred people here. If people, I can't read every single message, okay? If I was reading chat, all stream, it'd be boring as fuck. So, if I don't read out your message or train, you can hear the train. <laughs> so, if I don't read your message or if I don't acknowledge it, I'm not ignoring you. I read everything in chat, but I've explained this before. If I don't, I feel like anything I respond to in chat, I have to like tie onto it. Like, I, I don't like chatters or I don't like streamers who just read the message and move on. Like, you need to have additive commentary to whatever chat is saying. So don't ever feel like you guys are spamming. You are only spamming if you are repeating a message or if you are saying like, Hey, did you see my message? It's like, bitch, I did, but I chose not to respond to it. Okay? Okay. Like, if you say that shit, it's annoying. I understand. I know I used to be an annoying chatter myself, but I've learned that there's a way to act in the chat room that you're not being disrespectful or you're being annoying. So you're not spamming if you're typing a lot of messages in the chat. Um, you're, you're just being annoying if you either repeat what you're saying all the time or if you try and bait for my attention by asking, like, hey, did you see this? I know we've had some chatters do that, but I understand that they're learning, so I try to be nice to them. So chatters, if you see that, just ignore it. Just ignore it. Don't shit on each other. It's not appropriate. 
Yeah, exactly. That's how I want to rent my chat room, Crystal. That's literally how I want to rent it. Because, like... Oh, I, I'm, I'm not playing the game. Sorry. <laughs> um, that's how I want to rent my chat room. Because, like I said, we're having engaging conversation in the sense of... You guys say something, I tie on, and then you guys... It's, it's an infinite conversation glitch, right? If I expand on topics further, right? Because my main goal for any stream that I do... They may not all be banger streams. They may not all be the best stream, but I want to make sure anybody here who is actually here for the live is feels like thing you can get out of something out of it, whether it be like a conversation or like a good perspective or just good gameplay. Um, <laughs> and I feel like my commentary style has changed and evolved, but I feel like it encourages people to type in the chat room more. Like, if you look at... Nobody say the actual viewer count, because that is cringe. No viewer count, Andy's in chat room. Um... What was I gonna say? Oh, um... I have a fairly active chat room. Because typically, um... In any stream, 10% of your viewers are gonna be chatting. So, for example, if... This is normal. This is normal. If you have a thousand people watching, you probably have a thousand people chatting. So if I have 20 people here, we got two people chatting. But if you look at... Don't see the number. Don't see the number. <laughs> um, if you look at the current viewer count, I probably should have one person chatting. But we consistently have two or four people chatting at any given time, which is a lot. Like I said, 10% of your viewers will chat. So, I have a very active chat, and another thing is, my chatters are not moderators. You ever go to a stream, like a small stream, and it's like three mods, and they're the only chatters? That to me is a red flag, because people who are in your stream are not actively engaging, they are probably not enjoying your stream to the fullest. Um... So, I like how everyone here is a, for the most part, not a streamer. Um, people here are, like, non-moderators chatting. Like, these are people who just like the stream, who are actively wanting to engage. Um, thank you, Crystal. I think I'm fine. I think I'm a C-tier streamer. Because, like, uh, let's, let's, let's see what I have. I need to drop off money. I think we're gonna go to the Nook Miles Island and then call it a day. I want to do art, guys. I want to. I, we, we haven't done a sketch card in a week, Chatters. Um, no, don't worry about a wolf. Like I said, Chatters will learn how to behave in a way that's not annoying, so it's totally fine. Especially if you're new to Twitch or like new to my stream. Everybody has a different way of running the chat room. My my way, <laughs> my way is kind of strict. I admit it. It is strict, but it's because I don't want you guys to change if we ever do grow. And I feel that the way that I've conducted myself, either myself or like have you guys behave in the chat room, it makes people feel welcomed and it makes it feel like a safer place in other communities. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, I know, Mac. We got some chatters that need to learn the rules. And like, it's not that they need to learn, it's just like, people will learn and gain that maturity over time. And I think it's not appropriate to like roll them or call them out. So like I said, if you guys see anything that's kind of sus or weird, ignore it. Moderators will hand it if it's outwardly inappropriate. And if it's behavior that could be changed, like annoying behavior, then we'll all handle it. You haven't trained them yet? Yeah. I mean, Mac is in the chat room every day. I think Mac is a very good chatter. I'm your first streamer you're active in? Yeah. That's totally fine. I understand. I have a lot of people who come over from TikTok and this, they're like, this is my first ever Twitch channel or my first time chatting. I'm like, oh, that's cool. It's great. I'm glad to see that I'm bringing you over to the... Um... One more time. Uh... What was I gonna say? That I'm able to bring people over to the live room. Am I excited for the tournament? Yes, I am. I'm gonna win. Um, hi, Voda Stream Seno. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. I gotta check something real quick. Thank <laughs> you. 
I realize the guy's name is Cat. <laughs> yeah. Yar. <laughs> Phone streamer? No, I got an email. I got an email, okay? You have faith in me? Thank you. We love a new chatter who instantly believes in me. We love that. But <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, what were we talking about? <laughs> no, you're gonna win? Okay, I'm gonna win, guys. There's no way I lose. Okay, honestly, the only way I win is if we only have three racers, which hasn't happened yet. <laughs> the most difficult challenge I faced on their phone. Guys, I am not a phone streamer, I promise you. <laughs> I will- no, chatters, there's three slots available. Whoever gets top three gets VIP, so there- there's- you guys can share. All three will be for you. That's not how it works. People can't even be mod and VIP at the same time. You can only be one or the other. Imagine sharing. You know, if people don't want to share, maybe we'll just get rid of the VIP. If chatters aren't gonna behave. Hmm? Oh, I, I clicked the wrong button. It's kind of like, you know how when you're in elementary school and like one kid misbehaves and then they ruin it for everyone in the sense of like... They're like, oh, since Bobby misbehaved, you guys don't get to go to recess today. And you're like, no. I always found that shit bullshit. And it just made everybody hate that kid in the class. I never understood why that was appropriate to do. Bobby teachers do that? Yeah, it, it just teaches you to like dogpile and like shit on one kid. Yeah, it's like, it's not appropriate to do. Like, I, I never understood that. Do teach- okay. Any Zoomers in chat who were in elementary, do teacher- did teachers still do that? For context chatters, I'm 23. Do any teachers still do that? Because, like, it, another thing is, like, it just teaches that kid, whoever acted up, that it's just making everybody not like them. It's just ostracizing them more. Because, like, in my opinion, they did that in high school, too? What the fuck? I don't... I don't understand it. Because, like, to me, any kid who does act up, there's a reason why they misbehave. Whether it be, like, um, most likely it's a side of abuse in the household for most instances. Um, whether it be, like, emotional or physical, you can't determine that unless there's, like, signs, right? But it's definitely, like, one of the signs if a, a kid is consistently being um, disrespectful or, like, acting up. There's a reason why. It's usually, like, a cry. It's a subtle way for cry to help. Um, that's another discussion for the end of the day, but there's a reason why kids act up, you know. And I don't think it's appropriate to ostracize them more when they already probably experienced that. Especially when the kids are younger, I don't- I never understood it. Okay, another question I have, do teachers still yell at kids? 
Because when I was um, exiting like high school and middle school, that's when it kind of became standard to like not yell at the classroom anymore. Do teachers still yell at their kids? I know for our district, they're not allowed to anymore. Um, how so? It's a sign of abuse or neglect in some instances because a lot of kids who experience ne emotional neglect, um, they don't know how to handle their emotions. So, um, that's, that's why some choose to act out. Like I said, it's not an obvious sign, but it's a more subtle sign of abuse. When is it necessary? Maybe when the teacher's having a bad day. <laughs> yeah, it's always the teacher. Um, Cause like, I remember like, my third grade teacher would scream at the classroom. If we didn't, like if one kid didn't understand a specific aspect of the assignment. Or if like a kid acted out. Oh, how so? Okay, that's what you're saying, Mac. Um, like I said, if, if it- Oh, I can hop here? Okay. If a teacher like yells at a student directly or at the classroom. I just feel like even like if you live in a household where like the parents yell too much too, that is not appropriate. Like there's a better way to like, I okay, I know that it's whoa, what is going on? Like soft parenting is something that I looked into and it's definitely Oh, why are we talking? <laughs> this is like a whole discussion that it, it has so many different levels and depths to it. Um, and it's not that I'm not educated in the subject, it's just I don't have enough like information on it. Um, she would almost make all the students cry, damn. Dude, I was gonna cry in the class whenever the teacher cried because, uh, um, what's a nice way to put it? My parents yelled a lot. <laughs> um, so it was obviously a trigger for me. But it, it's one of those things where, like, I feel like some educators need to be educated more on how to avoid those types of triggers in the classroom. And it's one of those things where, like, you can train staff however much you feel is necessary, but it's a matter of, like, actually implementing the training. Because, like, a lot of the training programs, they're not hands-on. It's just, like, clicking through an article and then answering multiple choice questions. Like, it's not too rigorous training, typically. Um, I'm not invalidating the work in education that our educators or like actual educators teachers have gone through. It's just, it just seems like sometimes the training wasn't good enough. <laughs> um, that is for context. My mom, she works for the school district. There, there are good and bad teachers that I've heard stories of. Why would the teacher cry about that? This seems kind of weird. You made the teacher cry because you didn't tell the parents you were a star student. Why would the teacher be upset about that? I don't- I don't get that. Cause like, okay, I don't think I've ever made a teacher cry. The teachers have made me cry. <laughs> I think it's because like, um... It wasn't too long ago. Like, I think they banned physical discipline in the classroom. In, like, what, the 60s or something? So a lot of the teachers who are older, who grew up in those times, they're used to, like, physical discipline. In the classroom. Like, either having experienced it themselves when they were younger, or some educators were still allowed to do that. And it's very hard to transition from physical discipline to, like, verbal discipline. I don't know. Okay, let's go home, guys. Go home, go bed. Your band teacher made you do laps or push-ups? I feel like that's standard. Like, I feel like a few teachers did that. I think the worst thing a teacher did to discipline a child- It was in sixth grade. And there were two kids who were, like, messing around when she was, like, trying to give a lesson. Keep in mind, the, the two children were POC. Teacher was white. I don't know if had this had any effect, but maybe. I live in a very white town. Um, so these two kids were like messing around. This is 6th grade, mind you. 6th grade. Okay. They're still kids. So they were like messing around, goofing a gap as she was giving her a lesson. And so she wasn't having it. So she's like, you know, you guys need to pay attention. 
you know what I'm gonna have you do? She's so she had them take notes as she had them face away from the the whiteboard, face the wall, standing, and still made them take notes. And it's just like so the kids are like literally standing facing the wall in the back of the classroom. Actually psychotic shit, right? And I was just like it, it didn't fully dawn upon me, like, how bad that was. But, like, I just remembered it, like, a year ago. I was like, damn, my teacher did that shit. Like, it wasn't, like, too mean, but it's still, like, so humiliating with that type of, like, verbal punishment. Or, like, actual, like, standing in the classroom and, like, facing the wall. It's like, it's like the cliche kid sitting in the corner with a dunce cap. It's like that type of thing. Um, it's just wild to think... How many weird or like borderline inappropriate things educators can get away with? Big thing is, um, if you see something, say something, okay? If you feel like any educator or any staff member in your school or workplace too is violating your rights or is treating treating you in a really dis demeaning or disrespectful way, talk to a different teacher, talk to your counselor, talk to your principal, or talk to your HR representative, because. You don't know what's going on unless somebody says something. You don't know if it's happening to other students or other employees if nobody speaks up. You would take your desk and make it sit in the classroom? Oh, out, out in the hallway. Yeah, my teacher did that too. And it's just like, at that point, they're not learning. Like, those type of punishments, they're literally not learning. Like, cause a lot of the kids who do act out in the classroom, there's underly underlying reasons why they behave that way. Oh, why am I selling my storage shit? Sorry, I got confused. <laughs> Whoopsie, I almost sold my wood. He wants to be humiliated? Yeah. It, it's gross. At its core, it's gross. Ooh, a cave! Anyway, back to Animal Crossing. <laughs> Why are we so deep today, chatters? I feel like Monday, or not Monday, Tuesday, is like, cause like I haven't seen you guys for a few days, so I'm like excited to talk to you guys. Because I will never share any too personal, intimate details about like my personal life or my lived experiences to an extent. But I will still share general experiences that aren't too personal. Or like, that I won't leak anything. Because I feel like the perspectives that I do share are broad enough to where people can relate to them. Or they will change perspective. I'm glad our generation is seeing through the bullshit. Yeah. It's one of those things where... People are learning how to advocate for themselves, and I think it's really good. And I can understand why the, the older generation don't like it, because they were raised in a way to where you have to respect authority, whether it be like your educators, or your parents, or like law enforcement, or representatives in government. But you have to learn how to advocate for yourself and stand up for yourself, because when your rights are being violated or you're being disrespected, then you need to learn how to advocate for yourself and stand up for yourself in a way that is not too confrontational or too violent. Like, there are better ways to handle things. Alright, they say our generation is too woke. I, it's not that we're too woke, it's just we have a broader perspective on things. Anyway, shadows. Does anybody know what time it is? Chatters. We are another hour in the stream. So it is time for me to run a few minutes of ads. You can avoid the ad break by subscribing for free if you have an Amazon Prime account. Just like a change, which you gotta get a free Prime sub every month. Or for just $5, you get ad previewing and super cool sub only emotes. I wasn't trying to have a good transition, Chatters. It was, I wasn't trying to be good, okay? We have we each. We just had a serious conversation. I feel like it'd be very bad of me to... <laughs> to... <laughs> goof and gaff after that serious conversation. An hour flew by. I know, right? It's crazy. We're having fun, right? Anyway, that ad is coming. So, Chatters, subscribe for just $5.
or for free as a Twitch Prime. After the ad break, we're gonna do an artist sketch card, so more chill vibes, probably more time for chit chatting. So if you wanna enjoy some visual ASMR, stick around after that ad break. Get a water, get a snack if you need it. We'll see some of you guys in a few. Okay, let's go ahead and save here. You're gonna be like, speaking of the woke generation, you just skip your coffee and... <laughs> and do what, subscribe for $5? Okay, let's get our shit set up. That literally felt like five minutes. I know it's crazy how time flies by. Okay, let's get some music on for you guys. Hi, Big Content. Welcome to stream. Hope you're doing well today, hon. Right now, we're getting ready for art. That's how you know you're having a good time? Exactly. Should we have a chill music or something a bit more energetic today? Ooh, never mind. I'll choose this is underwater music. Okay. Dude, I love this. So right now we're getting ready to do art. We're gonna do a sketch card. Dude, I. Is it bad that I clickbait too much with my titles? Is it bad? Is that scum behavior? <laughs> Is this Odyssey music? Maybe. I don't have my hands on yet. Hi, Crystal. Yup. Dude, this oh the light was hot are you saying yo because someone else said hi lol <laughs> yeah peace i too yo if i get in oh dude i hate standing up when i sit for too long it makes me want to pass out because i have bad legs is the music good is it too loud is it too soft I want it to be at about the same level that I'm at. Okay, right now I'm getting my supplies, so chatter is cool. A bit loud? It's good, I think. Fuck. <laughs> Let's lower down one notch. There we go. Okay, let's get this She should name her Pikachu. No, its name is Pikachu. Obvi. You silly. I also got new microns. With my pencil. I got it now. Okay, I also need to. Yup. Okay, so I know what I want to do for today's sketch card. I need to lower my music. Oh, this music is pleasant. Excited to see what you create today? Me too. I've been thinking about this design all week. For two weeks now, because we didn't do art last week, Chatters. 
I just noticed the title. Isn't it so good? Isn't it so good? So chat. Um, let me show you the actual inspiration for today. So the inspiration for today. This up here. So if you can kind of see on each horizontal line, they connect downwards. They're different angles. So it kind of looks like wood grain, doesn't it? So that, that's the design I'm working on for today. So what we're essentially going to do is we're going to split our 2.5 by 3.5 card into equal vertical sections and then draw lines down and then we'll fill it. I think that's what I want to do. Oh, I need to get my paper. I'm, I'm just stalling, guys. I'm stalling. You know more stalling. Hey chatters, we do have no backseat gaming tag, so nobody tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, um I correct this one. So these are some cards we did a few weeks ago. Two weeks ago, actually. So I like to do abstract art. That is my personal favorite. Okay, so let's get started. Let's verify that this sketch card is actually 2.5 by 3.5. Okay, we good? Yep, this one is actually cut correctly. I finally did it right. Okay, so... I'm gonna divide this into... Vertical lines that are a quarter of an inch wide. Shadows, if you're drawing and you don't have a triangle ruler, what are you doing? They are literally the best. Hashtag not an ad, but get a triangle ruler. You know, digital art, nice. I want, I want to get into digital, but it just seems so disassociative. Like, I definitely like the feel of traditional art more. Like, I know you have a lot more possibility with digital, but... I will always prefer... Traditional. Oh, this is really washed out. I'm sorry. Let me lower the light here. Okay, that should look a bit better for you guys. Sorry, I forgot that I need to change my lighting whenever we do our cam. Okay, so now we're just gonna connect these lines. Now, a mistake that you will see a lot of people do is they press way too hard with their pencils. And then they're always like, oh my god! I, even when I erase, the line is still there. Dummy dumb. All you have to do is just press lightly. Five head. The card is kind of hard to see. Well, fix your eyes, Mac. <laughs> but granted, this is a white card against a white notebook. So. Okay, you know how they have those sketchbooks that is like the screen tone paper or it's like brown paper? I've never liked them, but I've seen people will do sketches with like red or white colored pencils in them and look really pretty. Like I debated if I wanted to get one of the sketchbooks, but I know I wouldn't use it. Every else have like five unused sketchbooks at home. Just me. Chatters, we're basically making lined notebook paper right now. Okay, so, 
we have our horizontal lines drawn. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. Okay, my eyebrows are fucked up. I fixed it. Okay. So now, I think instead of penciling in the lines, I kind of want to just go right in. I want to go right in with pen. Okay, I'm going in with a micron. Zero, zero, five. It's not going to focus, is it? <laughs> so I'm going in with the smallest um, size tip of the micron. And this is a new pen. So I think what I'm going to do. Oh, it's really washed out, isn't it? This might be better. Oh, this is actually better. Okay, we don't need direct lighting. So, I'm just gonna draw random lines across this horizontal first line. I hate that the white balance is all fucked. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. I need to not freak out about it. So what I'm doing right now is just randomly drawing lines in this first row. Also, Chatters, there's no way for me to zoom on this camera, so I can't zoom, Sag. I was like, what are you guys talking about? But that's banned shit, right? Reeds is banned stuff, right? I was thinking like reeds of grass or something. And I was like, huh? So I have lines on this first horizontal row. So next, what I'm gonna do is from the bottom point, I'm gonna draw lines in this next section, but they're not all gonna be the same direction. That's how we get that kind of like haphazardy geometric type of look. Now, a thing I forgot is, if you look at the fine detail, it is very hard to see. It's like one of those things that you can only see if you're actually in person drawing. But when you press too hard on the pen, like as with any pen, the harder you press, the wider your stroke is going to be, right? Hey, come on. I paid good money for this DSLR. And by that, I mean my college tuition. There it is. So you can see the parts where, like, the lines do connect, and it does look darker. You can see how the lines subtly overlap. I just have to be a lot more careful with my strokes from here on out, because I forgot. Get back to work. I mean, it's not going to matter too much, because I think I want to go in and fill, like, a solid black and white. our second row done. So we're just gonna do this all the way down. And like the strokes, see how some the connecting strokes go straight down, some do opposite angles. So you're gonna get a lot of like weird abstract shapes today. This music sounds scary. 
don't know about you guys, but it's scary. Whoa, it feels weird sitting over here. Okay, I don't know about any fellow artists in the chat room, but whenever I work on a piece, I have to be like right up on it. Like I'm like four inches away from my desk right now. An art style that I really like and admire is anybody who does like pointillism or crosshatch solely based art. A lot of tedious work and it's amazing what they can do with simple strokes and dots. It's going back to the concept of your strokes can create grays and that type of thing that can be developed into shades. What's that? You don't know what pointillism is? I feel like everybody who takes like art in middle school, like the required drawing class, you have to do like a mandatory pointillism assignment. And it's horrible and tedious. But the people who do like pointillism or cross-hatching professionally, they're cool. It takes a lot of patience and you have to understand shading and depth to in order to do a really good rendering of pointillism. Okay, so before I do this next stroke, see this shape right here? This connecting line, I can either do like parallel to these or perpendicular to these. I think I want to do parallel because it'll be a lot <clears throat> more of an interesting shape. Because like, even though it seems like I'm randomly doing lines, when I'm drawing these connecting lines, I'm changing the direction and motion of the shape. So even if it looks unintentional, there's still I'm still thinking about the future shape that I can make whatever direction the line goes. I'm really good at shading and highlights. Nice. I hate doing realistic renderings. I think it's so tedious. Like, I'd rather make something like an original image. I've never liked shading work. Like, does anybody choose gay music over, like, actually produced music or music with vocals in it? I find myself that I sometimes will put on, like, Animal Crossing music sometimes. If I'm, like, studying.
like, let me do it in pencil first, that way I can demonstrate what I'm kind of thinking. So I went in with pencil. So instead of doing the whole card with the random lines, maybe for half of it I'll just do straight lines and then the bottom half will be these weird shapes. So it kind of looks like it's falling down. I think that'd be interesting. I think I'll go with that. That way it's not like a fully, a fully uniform composition because like the, the middle line will obviously divide it. But. Or maybe... Sorry, I'm thinking. Maybe I just want to do the vertical lines on like the top third instead of the top half because I feel like half is too simple. Hmm. I'm thinking. Hmm, he say too. Hmm. Sorry, I'm still thinking because I, I feel like. Like I said, every aspect of design, there has to be a meaning behind every single decision you make. Because it will help the composition of your work, the final composition. Like I said, I feel like if I did the straight lines and then the haphazard, haphazard lines on the bottom is too simple if I just do it on the top half. I think I'll do the top third. I made a decision. We'll not do... We're not going to do it on... We're not doing it on the half. We're doing it on the top third. Oh my god, is this Mario Kart? I freaking love Mario Kart. So I think we'll do it. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 lines, so half would be 7. 2, 4, 6, 7. A third would be about here. Our fourth would be about 3. Maybe we could do a fourth. I think a fourth would be too small because I'd be only here. I feel like here would be a good stopping point for vertical lines. Okay, anyway, back to inking and lining. I've made the executive decision we're gonna do vertical lines. And have them stop. And here. Get back to line work. I love the micron pens, but the tips are very fragile. Even this new one is already kind of splitting. Like, it's not splitting, per se, but it's kind of bending. Pizza for dinner? Nice! We have so much leftover food, like, I would have pizza every day if I could. But I think right now we have leftover pork, we got chicken, we got rotisserie chicken. Because, like, the way that my mom will cook is she will cook for, like, the day and then the next day. So we always got leftovers. Because, like, I know it's financially better to, like, only cook what you need for the day. Because, like, it's not guaranteed you're going to eat all the leftover food you have. But that's just how she's always cooked. But then she'll always complain that we have too many leftovers, and it's just like, well, that's what you wanted, Mom. <laughs> Okay, right now, I'm gonna do the last horizontal line. And then we'll start doing vertical. Is 
This music is nice. Okay. So now... I have all my horizontal lines drawn in. So... I'm gonna go in and draw vertical lines and connect them to where the end point of each line is. And then we can start filling in. So I have to concentrate for this part because when you're inking with the ruler, it's very easy to smudge and also have a crooked line. Because, like, it's kind of hard to demonstrate on cam, but you know, when you're going in with a pencil, depending on the angle of the tip against the ruler, it'll change where the line is. See, like, if I do it here, the line will be straight, but if I do it here, it'll be kind of a diagonal. So when you're doing ruler work, it's very easy to have a crooked line. Or have non-consistent lines, so. Chatters. Nobody distract me. Okay? I cannot afford to throw. Ooh, this is so difficult. Even now my lines aren't lining up. Imagine. That's okay, we're gonna fill in with a sharpie at the end. Yeah, this new micro is already busted. I think I was pressing too hard earlier. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. It's okay though. I can always buy another set. I mean, Micron is somewhat higher price point, but it's nothing too extravagant. Oh, see, this one's not even marking. So those are the strokes I have so far. Let's go to full cam so we can actually get a better look. But see, when I added those vertical lines, it almost makes it look like it's falling down, right? It's interesting. Not the look I was going for, but I think it's an interesting path that we took. Not we, me. This, this is my card. Dude, that this pen is not even marking anymore. Reminds me of tree bark. Yeah, it's interesting. It looks very natural, doesn't it? Like I said, this is why I love abstract art. Make something out of nothing. I think another reason. Oh shit, this is a really bad pen. <gasps> this one, you you cannot see it on camera, but people can actually see. See that last stroke? See how it's double? That double line? It's because the tip is split. That is not good. That is bad. Rick. Any Oilers want to buy me new pens? Subscribe for just five dollars. <laughs> Especially with the smallest 005 tip micron, they are very easy to bust, so it's not necessarily my fault. But since the tip is so small, they do break easily. Okay. How much are they? I think this set I bought was $10, or $10 or $12, and it had like 8 pens in it. So yes, it is a premium, but 
Nothing too crazy. They're affordable. Okay, so there we go. We have our base line work. Doesn't it kind of look like hair? It looks like hair. A little bit. A bit more geometric -y. I kind of like hair. Okay, so now I think what I want to do is we're going to erase the base lines I had. And then we're going to fill in the opposite sections with black to give it like a checkerboardy look. Okay. Let's get to erasing. And now I'm going to be very careful to not accidentally scrape my nail polish against the card. I was going to paint my nails today, or yesterday, but I'm getting new nail polish in the mail at the end of the week. And it's going to be some nice silvers. And I've been, like, itching to get silver nail polish that's not glitter. Because, like, this polish that I have, nail check, kind of busted already. But if anybody knows the brand, dude, fucking focus, please, for the love of God. It's called Hollow Taco, and it's kind of hard to see in this light, but in yellow lighting, it has this rainbow chrome effect. Yeah, it's not just gonna show up on him because it's not direct lighting, but it's really nice. And they released a line where they have silver rainbow chrome that's not glitter polish. So I ordered it. Expensive nail polish, but I think it's worth it because I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> okay, got a few more lines to erase. Yeah, if you do silver next week, we'll do matching. Oh my god, that's so cute. <laughs> okay. Back to inking. So I'm gonna go in with my ultra fine point sharpie first. And then fill in with the big sharpie. So I need to figure out which sections I want to color in, because I did slip up and mess up my lines in some parts. Okay, definitely we're gonna have to fill in this one, because this is the one that had the double line. Now, the trick with Sharpies, since it's a very highly pigmented ink, in the sense of, like, if you hold it somewhere, it'll bleed. So when you're working with any type of Sharpie, to make sure your, your strokes are quick. That way you don't get uneven line width. Black? Okay, thank you for redeeming. Crystal will do calligraphy after the card is done, but thank you for redeeming, hon. I appreciate that. Can I be honest? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Um, I'm at a point where... I'm used to getting donations every stream. And it's bad because I should not expect that from people. We talked about this last week, but... I should not expect people to give me money because that's toxic, right? But the last two streams, I didn't get any subs or donations. And that's fine. That's totally fine. Because at its core, you should make content because it's fun. And like, I remember I was bummed. I, I probably looked bum on cam. Because we didn't get to do calligraphy. And I was like, Sag. Um, but I thought about it over the weekend. I was like, you know. If I get too concerned about money or numbers. Then that's bad. Then I'm going to be doing this for the wrong reason. And I'm going to be going down a bad path. Right? So it didn't bother me. Because like, I feel like the thing that people talk about on Twitch. Or people who do stream. They, um, they talk about their numbers a lot, and I'm at a point where I have a core audience who will be here every day, so shoutouts, thank you guys. Any regular lurkers or chatters, I appreciate you guys. But you shouldn't expect people to show up every day, you shouldn't expect people to give you money, because that's not what they're there to do. Yes, it is part of the role that some viewers do choose to take, but it, you shouldn't expect that from people. So, even if my stream summary says zero subs or five subs less than the last stream, that's fine. I just have to not prioritize that. I don't know, I just want to be transparent about that. 
So if I looked bummed, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was honestly bummed we couldn't do calligraphy. Big Sag. <laughs> but yeah. I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Because I will see so many posts from other streamers. I'm not gonna name names. Because I honestly don't know their name because I don't follow them. I just see them on my TikTok all the time. But even jokingly, they'll be like, damn, I I got like less subs than the last stream, Sag. But it just makes you seem ungrateful. You know what I mean? Because even having somebody show up to stream is big. Like they're choosing to spend time with you. And the people who do help support you and do donate or give money or whatever, they're taking that extra step because they want to see you succeed. And you can easily equate your success with your numbers, but you still have to remember that there is a person behind every number, there's a person behind every follower, every donator. And everything you do online has an impact. So even if you don't make money, you're still affecting somebody day, hopefully for the better, right? So I just need to make sure I maintain those core values. Because there will come a time. Because I have this weird feeling now to where if I don't have a lot of chatters in my just starting soon screen, I get anxious. Because, I'm going to be transparent again, I'm one of those streamers who keeps their viewer count on. And the reason why is I can look back at my stream analytics and see what times I peaked, what times I dipped. But I think it's very interesting to see in real time on my end because chatters, you guys can see the viewer count too. I think it's very interesting to see when people, when an influx of people come in or when an influx of people leave. Granted, there are times where mass amount of people, mass, I mean a handful, more than one person leaves. Whether it be when we're changing games, changing categories, that makes sense. Because I understand when people only like certain games, or only like certain sections of the stream, and that's totally fine. That to me is valid, that makes sense, so I expect that to happen. But it's also interesting to see when people, or when I get a good handful of people join the stream. Um, prime example, today, at around the one hour mark, I went up around five people and I was like hmm because the way that twitch notifications for go live sometimes it takes an hour for it to roll out so that's why people will typically peak after an hour and I haven't seen that trend for like ever until about a week ago so that means prior to that people would click on the go live see what the stream is and then leave but, in this past week, I've noticed that people will click on the go live, but stay. Whoa. That has never happened for me until about a week ago. And you can tell that because, like I said, after an hour, you will peak and then maintain those handful of people. So I was like, hmm. Like I said, I'm being very transparent right now. Because if I want to see this as a feasible way to spend my time, whether it be terms of getting partnership or getting higher levels of monetizations on other platforms. These are things I have to keep in mind during the live stream. And yes, thank you, Mac. I appreciate Mac is literally here like every day. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but it's something I have to keep in mind. I think it's interesting to see when people leave the stream. Because in my head, I'm like, is it because I'm boring or they don't like what I'm talking about? It's interesting. When we were talking about um, morality and politics and like the school system we had more people stay like I noticed I had a few people join but then they stuck around for a little bit to see what I had to say I think that's very interesting um because like like we talked about earlier people even if they don't necessarily know you too well they want to hear your opinions on things so I noticed when we were talking about those topics people who came in stayed Hmm. So, I think it's one of those arguments to where um, your content or your commentary has to be substantial enough to 
keep people engaged or keep them in the stream. I think that's a big reason why um, small streamers stay small. Because there's a lot of moments when there's dead air or like there's not something crazy happening on stream. Because you can't expect someone to be at 100% super extra, super energetic all the time. That's unrealistic. Even in people who do traditional acting. A lot of union workers are only obligated to do like four hours of actual acting in an eight hour workday. Because that's what they're expected to do. That's what the industry demands. But with streaming, people are expected to be at full energy for the whole stream. That's why, like, I really admire the people who can do that, because it's very difficult to do. Uh, the main point I was tying that back onto was any rando coming into a stream, whether it be their first stream or a regular, you have to make sure what you're doing on stream is captivating enough to maintain and hold their attention. I know for me, okay, this is actually something bad that I do. It's not horrible, but if I come into a stream and I see an empty chair, or if I see a BRB screen, I will leave. I know it's bad that I do that. Um, but in my head, I think my time is so valuable that it's a very selfish act of me to leave. Or if somebody- Okay, hot take. Any streamers, if you play a raid video, they are annoying as all fuck. I, I hate them. Unless I love the streamer, yeah, it's same. I will watch Hassan's channel for 20 minutes when he's making lunch, okay? I don't care. <laughs> um, hot take, I hate raid- I hate raid videos. I think they're annoying as all hell. If I'm a raider and I'm coming into stream and I see a raid video, I literally click off. I literally click off. I do not give a shit. I think they're boring as fuck. Um. Um. And if I'm a regular and I see the same video every day, three times a day, I'm just like, bruh. At least change your radio, ra maybe change your raid video once a month. Like if Peace and Underscore Seventeen ever had a raid video, it'd probably be the best of monthly compilation. That way, chatters regulars aren't seeing the same fucking video for four months in a row. Um, I don't know. That, that's one of my hot takes. I know it's a controversial take, but it's my take. Raid vid. Um, you might see it in Scootish's chat, Mac. I know you're kind of new to Twitch or the UI, but a raid video is like, oh. Oh my god, thank you, streamer friend, for giving me raid. Chatters, watch this video that I made of my top clips. And it's like a one to two minute video of clips that are unrelated to their current stream. And I think it's distracting and annoying. I'm not calling anybody out. It's just in general, I fucking hate raid, I hate raid videos. I think they're... Cause like I said, if I'm somebody already in the stream, I'm just like, fuck, it's a raid video, I've seen this shit a million times. The thing I do like about Scootish's raid video is that he has different versions of it, so that kind of makes it more tolerable. But otherwise, if somebody plays the fucking same ass video, I'm just like, please, for the love of god, end me, end me, end me, just- I, I immediately click off. I click off. That's why I don't do raid video. Um, talking about raids, I don't like to give raids a lot of attention. Just in general, because I don't want um, people to feel like they're my favorite. Um. Oh, that's cute. I'm glad to hear that, Woof. I know everybody here is pretty chill. We do goof and gaff a little bit, but I feel like everybody here is super nice. Like we talked about earlier, I need to make sure you, I, I, I rein you guys in and make you guys good chatters. But thank you. I'm glad to hear that, Woof. I know I have a good time with chat, too, so. Anyway, talk about raids. Um, I don't like to give any super special attention to people who do raid into the channel. We don't give raids often. Because I don't have a lot of streamer friends. And the people who raid into random channels, I think it's fine. But it just seems like they're baiting for attention. This is another controversial take that people don't like. Or I know streamers don't like, but... It just seems like... Because, like, raids, it distracts from, like, the stream. And that's fine, because that's how raids are, but... It just feels weird. Like, the whole concept of a raid in general is weird. I've only seen it on Twitch. Like, you never see raids on YouTube. Like, that's a solely Twitch thing. Like, it's nice to get a boost in viewership, but most of those people don't stick around because, like we talked about before, um... 
people, the reason why people watch streams is because they like the personality that they're already watching. Like, I know for me, if I get rated out, I don't stick in the stream that they read into typically if I don't know the person. Like, it might take me, like, three or four raids to, like, actually like the person that they're rating into. That's why I only rate out to people I know. That's why I only rate out to people or chat rooms that I know will treat my chatters nicely. Have I ever had to ban anyone? Yes, I have. Not live, though. Not live, though, because nobody has acted out. Um, thankfully. Okay. The reason why we have follower mode chat is because, um, she banned. <laughs> oh. Now that they have those public ban lists, if you get banned from a channel, it's public info now, bitch. So don't, don't get banned, like, anywhere. On it, seriously, like, don't, don't try to get banned, even jokingly, it's not worth. Um, anyway. I've never had to ban anybody left, because everybody has been behaving pretty nicely. Look at that. Well, look at that texture. That's a nice texture so far. Because uh, everybody's been nice. And... I will ban if I need to. Keep in mind, timeouts are different from bans. A timeout is basically, you aren't allowed to chat for 10 seconds, a minute, 10 minutes, a day, a week, a month. So a timeout is essentially a temporary ban. But a ban ban is, you're fucked, you're clapped. You can never type in my chat room again. Um, the only people I've banned... I've been- people I've cross-banned from other channels, because I- I do or used to mod for a few channels. So anytime a chatter got banned in their chat, I banned in my chat. Because... I don't- One, I think it's a power move to think that somebody's pre-banned, haha. -ha. And also, um... If somebody's gonna misbehave in a friend's chat, you don't know if they're gonna come into your chat and cause trouble too. And I know people who have faced harassment on and off the platform from people who have been banned from the Twitch chat. And obviously, I don't want that here. So, any moderators, if you have people who are banned in other channels, just cross ban them here. Easy clap. Yeah, even when I'm not at the table, chat knows to behave. Because, like I said, we do have moderators lurking. That's smart. Yeah, cross banning is important. And I think it's really cool that Twitch has that shared ban info um, option enabled. But dude, I want to ban the people from like the big streamers chat. So I don't want those little shitheads here. I'm not going to snitch, but I see some chatters in my channel in other big streamers chats. I'm not going to leak who they are, but I recognize usernames. And I recognize some usernames in big streamers chat, too. Granted, like I said, if I see you misbehave in another streamer's chat, no matter how big or small they are, you get banned here. Granted, the chatter I did see in that big streamer's chat, they were a nice chatter. So they did not get clapped here. But keep in mind, your actions on the whole platform will affect every chatter you go into with that shared ban info that they just added. So, behave. <laughs> Lum out, yeah. I didn't say anything. I didn't say hi to them. Because it was a big streamer's chat where I lurk in. I don't chat. Um, saw me in an autumn stream. Imagine. Dude, you guys might see me in Amaran's chat sometimes. Because she's funny. I'll type like a Keck W sometimes. Um, <laughs> Self-reporting. I, I type in Amaran's chat sometimes. Because like she's genuinely funny. Like she's got some good jokes. Yes, a lot of them are innuendous. But you know, she's got some good ones. Because I feel like I'm not an ammo defender stan, okay? I'm not a simp. But I feel like a lot of people discredit the work that she has done. And like her career previous to the hot tub meta. Because like she did cosplay and shit before. Um. But I support all the stuff that she does. Like as long as it's not TOS, I think she can do whatever she, she, what the fuck she wants. Dude, the... So I'm in a Ray stream? She's on fucking YouTube, dummy. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? Dude, the stream that Amara did with Alinity, oh my god. Such good content. I love Alinity. I don't- I don't watch her often, but she's one of the streamers where I like what she does collab stuff. You watch streams on YouTube? No. 
I will sometimes watch a YouTube st or a Ludwig stream, but otherwise, no. I I've been watching more of Myth on YouTube, actually. Because, like, I just like Myth's voice a lot. I mostly come to Twitch for you. Thank you, Mac. Look at that. Doesn't it look nice? Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Okay, this is taking a lot more time to fill in than I anticipated, but you know, that's fine. Solo dub, this is so sad, damn. Mac, you need to get good. Like, come on, dude. <laughs> Alright, I'm checking something real quick. time you got two solo crowns yeah obviously one up one up in me that was kind of mean <laughs> you haven't got another one since it's called karma like is it trying to one up me kind of cringe What's the big shots one? What's that game in Fall Guys? Sorry, my water is warm. It's no longer room temp, it is warm. And it was unpleasant. shot the level with all the tubes in it because I don't mind that one except for the final section the final section is way too difficult I like the tilt tables not fun Oh, 
Oh, big shots? Yeah, I- Oh, it's- Okay, that one. Yeah, okay, I know that one. I agree, that one was literally way too easy. I stand on the edge just to feel a little bit of the thrill. Yeah, I agree, big shots is the worst level ever. Snowball survival. I like all the snow levels, honestly. Cause I think there's that one game mode where it's just the snow levels, and I loved it. Cause I played it this morning. Cause like all the stages aren't too hard. Oh, except for that one with the snowball and then the tiles, and then you fall off the stage. I hate that one. That was the worst one. There we go. We're nearly halfway through. This wait. This is taking long. I'm sorry, chatters. I thought I could speedrun this, but I guess not. It does make the final round go faster, yeah. That's the only good thing about it, if you can survive. Otherwise, it is dog shit. I fell off on the final second. <laughs> Wait, shatter, shatters. How about if you guys get a crowd, you have to gift me subs? <laughs> oh yeah, that'd be great. I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Unless... <laughs> oh, Lost Temple, that one's way too difficult. I, I almost won it one time. I got to the final section, but I didn't grab the crown in time. So some motherfucker beat me to it. You never gonna solo win. So, for some people, it takes a while. Some people. Chatters. I got a solo crown on my first try, the first time we played it on stream, which is kind of crazy. Anybody who was here, that was a crazy moment. Like, actually insane. But I feel like solo wins aren't too hard if you're, like, actually focusing. Like, I've noticed anytime that I've gotten a win offline, except for the time I played on my sister's account, mind you was I didn't have any music playing, I just had the game audio like really low, that way I could like actually focus. Cause I've noticed for me, any type of auditory distraction or any type of audio sound always distracts me. Got like two doors in a row. Nice. Actually cracked POV. You've been playing kids since it came out on Steam? Mac. Okay. Can I be mean? Can I be mean? If you don't want me to be mean, tell me. If you want me to be mean, tell me to be mean. You're trying. Copium. I'm trying. Copium. You can? Okay, Mac, this is a little bit pathetic if you haven't gone a solo win. Just like a little bit. A little bit, okay? It's not that it's that difficult. You just aren't trying hard enough. <laughs> Megan gets canceled. <laughs> Megan grills her wholesome chatter and calls them pathetic. Guys, farm it for TikTok. <laughs> now I'm fueled to win. Yeah, you're on your redemption arc. Your Fog Eye stream was entertaining. Thank you. I appreciate that, Crystal. Isn't it wild how, like, hatred or negativity kind of encourages you to work more? Like, wanting to overcome that negativity or that negative backlash you want to perform better? Chat made me do this. <laughs> See, out of everything, 
I think the one valid criticism that I think is totally valid is that I shill a lot. Whether it be like I farm subs or donations or I talk about subbing too much. I I think that is a valid criticism. Everything else I think I will stand behind my actions. This is how we get Megan to win Fall Guys. We peace her to L all the time. Well, that obviously didn't work last week. Obviously it didn't fucking work because I didn't win. I got really close last week though. I got pretty close on that no cursing stream too. I got really fucking close. But you guys shit talking me doesn't affect me. You guys cheering me on doesn't affect me. I do everything on my own pure, pure raw skill and free will. Because, like, the way I see things is I will always stand behind my actions, whatever I say. I'm very... Not calculated, but I always feel like I have meaning behind what I say. In the sense of I will always stand behind my opinions. Because in my head, if you have an opinion or a perspective that you can't support or get behind, do you really believe what you think you believe? I think not. So... If anybody has criticism in the future, whether it be now, in the future, or if, or if I gain more influence, I think people can say whatever they want, but I know whatever I do is what I felt was the best in that moment. I don't know. Because, like, I was talking to uh, my doctor about negative comments because I brought up that I stream, and she's like, oh, that's interesting. And I was like, yeah, you know... There was this one Instagram video, I think I've talked about it before, but it was essentially... Because I post all the same clips that I do on TikTok onto Instagram and YouTube shorts to see the differences in how they perform. And I think YouTube and Instagram Reels have got to be, like, the worst comments. But on Instagram, now you can kind of restrict who can comment, similar to the Twitch chat. Only followers can comment on my Instagram Reels. Now let's go. But I posted a- it was the same clip I posted on TikTok and it- I got nice comments on the TikTok, but I got some really rude shitheads on Instagram. It was basically me talking about- as a general thing, not necessarily about me. But it was me talking about how I think it's inappropriate for viewers or people who donate to a channel to feel like they can itemize or sexualize any figure, whether it be male or female, but particularly female. Um. Uh, people are dog shit, yeah. A lot of people are mean. Anyway. And a few of the comments I got, I didn't screenshot it. You know why? Because if I screenshotted those five negative comments I got, I would wallow in it. I would look back at that screenshot again and relive that memory. So I did not screenshot it. I just deleted the comments. Because I looked at their profiles, they looked like 15-year-old shitheads. Anyway, uh, a few of the comments, one of them said, like, who would itemize you anyway, you're, you're ugly, or you're not even cute, shit like that, right? Which I expected. I didn't get any comments on YouTube, I expected those comments on YouTube, but on Instagram, I was like, whoa, oh my god. And like, I remember I opened the video, because on Instagram Reels, either my videos do nothing, or they do really well. Um, so I opened Instagram that day, and I saw I had like 100 likes and like 5 comments, I was like, oh my god, I guess a video popped off, and it was that one. And I opened the video and I saw the comments and I, I audibly laughed out loud. Because <laughs> I was like, I knew this would happen. And I was just laughing to myself, like looking at their profiles, but like, oh, this probably is like a little fucking incel 15 year old who likes their best friend, but it's too much of a fucking pussy to confess to their fucking girl best friend. And I was just laughing to myself. And I didn't get upset because I understand that this, those people are obviously immature and they aren't doing it to actually be mean. They're just immature and don't understand that perspective. So I deleted them, I handled it quietly. Because I know if it made me spiral, it wouldn't help me. It's one of those unfortunate realities and truths that a lot of people, especially women online, will face unwarranted criticism, not criticism, but unwarranted hate or harassment, and it's just how it is. And in my head, I was like, have I made it? Like, am I popular enough to get hate? Hmm talking about being hateful it's time to hit some of you guys with an ad i'm being mean and giving you guys an ad because chatters we are another hour into stream so it's time for me to run a few minutes of ads you can avoid the ad break by subscribing for four dollars 4.99 
Five dollars. Skip your coffee today and get out of reviewing all month long. And super cool sub only emotes they can spam in the chat room or your favorite chat room and other channels. We're gonna finish this card and then we're gonna do thanking subs and name calligraphy. So stick around, get some water, get a snack if you need it, chatters. Nine out of ten, I thought it was good. I thought it was fucking good. Thank you, Crystal. Back to it. I'm almost done. Look, I'm almost done. I'm literally almost done. Very nice, I know, very nice. Okay, chat. Guys, I'm on the last section. Get ready to spam. I was here when it's done. Get ready. The card drawing speed run is almost over. He okay, last line, last line. <laughs> Done. You hey guys, look at that. Do you know what this kind of looks like? You ever see those paint pour videos where they'll like put paint on the like the little dustpan and then they'll kind of like scrape it on or like kind of pour it on it looks like that doesn't it i think it does like the kind of like the the shape of the line and stuff whoa i zoom in a little bit yeah because like you know how they have like the dustpan and like the lines are straight and then like they kind of like squiggle it on kind of looks like that Let's go to full cam chatters. No stall. But guys, this is our sketch card for today. Thank you once again to Mac for redeeming with their channel points. This is what we got. You know what it kind of looks like too? Like a barcode and it looks like it got melted in the sun. I can't. Okay, you ever see that TikTok transition where they like rotate their phone 360? How, how do they do that? I don't- can- is that- do people like actually twist their wrist 360? Huh? Sorry. I was just- I watched too much TikTok. It's actual brain rot. But there we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you chatters for sticking around for that art section. Thank you guys for chilling and chatting. I'm assuming it's a really good transition. It's not a transition, it's more like they have their fall like this and then they go and then like rotate their hand. I don't know how the fuck they do it. I just realized, you know how they have the pop sockets that like rotate? Is it a fucking pop socket trick? Did I get scammed? Okay, chat us. Going to bed after stream? We got our sketch card done. Let's go ahead and sign this. Which way does it look? Sorry, I'm trying to see which way looks better. I think the straight lines on the top look better because it kind of gives implied motion with the squiggly, squiggly lines on the bottom. I think this way. You think either way? That's not, that's not what I'm asking, Mac. You can't just choose randomly. There has to be a reason why it looks good a better way. Anyway, I'm doing straight lines on the top. I think the motion on the bottom looks better. Also, there's more weight because it takes up two-thirds of the canvas of your working space. Okay, we'll do it this way. Straight lines on the top. You like both? <laughs> you, you don't... You don't get it. That's not what... That's not what I'm asking. It's <laughs> straight. July 1st. 
What's today? 26. Okay, so chat us. We got our sketch card done. Let's work on our calligraphy journal. Like a spill of paint? Yeah. I agree. It does look like that, doesn't it? Okay, so chatters, if we need to stream, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do our sub calligraphy journal. So if you sub, cheer, gift, or donate to the channel, I will write your name all cool and fancy right now. Or you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. Okay, so today, we had one resub, and then we also had a few channel points. So, Chatters, if you want me to write your name for just a hundred channel points, I will write your name for free. Just a hundred points. If you've been here for more Jordan stream, you probably have a hundred points, so don't be scared to spend it on that. Okay, thank you for redeeming Mac. I appreciate that. Be the master installing. channel point names first since most of you guys are still in chat actually you three are all in chat you guys are crazy you hear the whole stream wild <laughs> it's still crazy to me to think that there are some people who are here the whole stream that is a really kind thing for you to do and i appreciate you spending your time with me because that is very nice of you to do because i know i can't watch full streams anymore my attention span is a dog. Okay, so we had pink, black, I have misplaced my black pen, so I'm gonna do dark gray, okay? Okay. Welcome back, Crystal. You came right in time. Okay, first we had Dino Crystal. Is it in frame? Lamau. Yeah, okay. Like I said, I lost my black pen, so we're gonna do dark gray and we'll pretend it's gray. We'll pretend it's black. Also, gentle reminder chatters, if you gift a cumulative of five subs to the channel, by the end of the month, you will get a custom sketch card drawn for you by on stream on August 1st. Because right now we have three cards that we're going to do on stream for Monday. I was virtually here. No, it's fine. We love our lurkers. Oh, okay. That's what you mean, Crystal. Either way, I appreciate you sticking here and coming back to stream. It's always a kind gesture. You already gifted your five? Yeah, of course you did, Mac. You are number three on that leaderboard. Let's fucking go. I appreciate my Oilers. Okay, next we have Wolf. I want to be number one. I mean, number one is only one gifted away, Mac. I mean, actually two. So, I mean, <laughs> I can't take be a loser number three. I know, right? I will intentionally like drop five subs on my friend's stream just to be at the top. And then if somebody else gifts like to beat me, then they make money and I feel good. Cause like, I know it's a flex for me to be at the top But if I can farm more subs just so people can claim my leaderboard spot and they make more money, let's go. You know, I'm doing a good service. I can't take being loser number two. I know, Chatters. I know, right? You guys are all talk but no game. Nobody's paying up right now. Mm-mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't, don't donate if you can't afford it or don't, don't if you don't want to. I'm trolling. 
But maybe not. <laughs> okay, and then next we have Mac. It'll change this Sunday. Ooh. Honestly, chatters, chatters. I would say save your your subs and bits for the subathon. If I'm being honest. Cuz not saying not saying that I expect people to keep the stream going. But I think it'd be fun to see how long it'll go for. So I'm not shilling. But, okay, chatters who are here, I'm gonna leak a little special detail about the subathon. If anybody has watched Tectone's previous subathons, he has a bit. Every hour, where it's called Power Hour, and he doubles the time for any sub or bit he got. And he also spun a wheel, where it's extra time added. I think I want to do something like that, so... I think what I want to do... Okay, so we have not Mac. I like sabotaging Fall Guys. Oh, fuck! Is that what you mean, Crystal? God damn it. I just realized Fall Guys is incentive. Anyway, let's go ahead and do our sub journal now. So, Chatters, if you want to get in this journal, you can use your channel points. And if you want to get in the sub journal, you can sub or cheer. Uh, we need to get a hype train going. That'd be pretty poggy. Megan's only ever had one hype train, guys. I feel left out. I'm trolling. I'm joking. Do not ever focus on my eyes, please. Do not ever feel obligated to donate. Uh, anytime I shill subs or bits, I'm trolling to see if we have any secret spoilers in chat, okay? I'm trolling. I don't expect people to donate. I don't donate to every streamer I watch, so I would not expect that of my viewers if I did not do the same, okay? Was your first time here really actually we can look back at that i think i remember the page that i had my hype on because i think it was hacker's first ever gift sub to the channel you know okay i didn't get a hype train on my birthday which is big sag oh yeah this was the page for the hype train mackie we're here You actually were here. I remember. This was the hype train page, because it was Hacker's first ever gifted sub. Damn, we've filled a lot of pages in this, haven't we? Damn. You guys are rich. <laughs> okay, so we had a resub today for Issa for six months. What color should I do? I kind of want to do turquoise. Um, anyway, so that's what we might do for the subathon on Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday. I think what I want to do, chatters, nobody leak. I mean, it'll be announced on Twitter tomorrow formally, but nobody leak. Um. What I want to do is every hour before I run the ad, we will do double any subs or bits so for example if 100 bits is worth one minute for five minutes for five minutes well for that window if you cheer 100 bits is worth two minutes and then for anybody who gets five subs at any point of the stream i will spin a wheel and it will add an additional amount of time to the to the subathon I think those are fun stakes to add. Guys, let's leak. What are you gonna leak on? <laughs> Peace in 17 exposed. Honestly, who okay, it's not that who cares, because I know that people do watch the stream and will care, but like I'm gonna announce it formally tomorrow. Like honestly. <laughs> okay, let's stop stalling. But I think that's what I want to do. I still don't know what specific activities I want to do for the actual...
I just realized I messed up. Because Issa's name has two eyes. Um. Do we think, as a collective group, do we think Issa will be upset that I forgot one of their eyes? Because Issa isn't here right now. So do you think they'll be upset? Type a one in chat if you think I'm fine. Type a two if you think I should redo the whole page. Okay, we got one one. I'm gonna keep going. It's fine. Just stare. <laughs> I was doing that for a gag. Okay, it's not that I royally messed up. And honestly, people who have... Oh, yeah, if you spam the same message with the same text, you get timed out. So don't do that. Why did you stare? For the gag, obviously. It's called comedy. Comedy. <laughs> You're gonna make your Twitter profile pic? Me staring? Okay. Kinda weird, champ. Moderators keep an eye on Crystal. <laughs> Wouldn't that be technically impersonating me? Kinda cringe. Okay, isn't it kind of weird how, like, Minecraft stands will make their profile picks their favorite Minecrafter? I think that's kind of weird. TBH. I- I don't- I mean, I understand stand culture, but I don't get some things that they do. Cause, like, I was very much into Tumblr when I was younger, but I- I wasn't into stand culture. Like, I had friends who were, like, really into BTS, so I kind of understand it through them. But IMO, people who, yeah, I agree, Meg. It is weird if people use other people's profile pics as their profile pic. That's the first time you told mods to keep an eye on me. I feel special. Well, you shouldn't feel special because that's not a good thing, you know. I'm trolling. Anytime I say moderators keep an eye on them, I'm trolling. I'm literally trolling. I say that just to spook you guys. I think, Crystal, that's the first time anybody has taken that statement positively. <laughs> the mods are always keeping an eye on me. They keep an eye on every single chatter that comes in. So don't think you guys can misbehave. Granted, they do miss a few things, but you know. People make mistakes, okay? I just feel special. <laughs> There you go. So we had Isadago with a six month resub. Chatters, that is our last name of the day, last call. If somebody wants their name written, you can either sub to your gift or donate to the channel. You can sub for free with an Amazon Prime, or you can use your channel points and I'll write your name for free for just a hundred medallions. A lot of firsts in this stream? Like what? Did anything crazy happen today? How do I lure the mods out? I tell them to keep quiet for a reason. Okay, last call, chatters, last call. Last call. I'm glad I'm funny, Crystal. <laughs> hey, chatters, last call. <laughs> Okay, we're done. Shadows, we are done. Let's, let's not keep zoomed in on my pores. Dude, that was a level 45 zoom. Oh. Okay, chat.
thank you guys to anybody who came to the stream today. I really appreciate you guys spending some time with me. Hold, I need to check if anybody's live. Hold, hold. Hold, chatters, hold. I'll give the mods a kiff. Honestly, they need that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't, don't bother the mods. Dude, nobody's fucking live. I mean, Hassan is live. Okay, no raid today again, Sag. Sag, big Sag. Dude. I would change my time slot, but I like being live when nobody else is live. Whoa. That changed the lighting drastically, doesn't it? Sorry. There you go, glass. Glass shine is back. Okay, chatters. Thank you to anybody who came to you. Any chatters and lurkers? We had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun today. It's always a good... I love the Tuesday streams, because one, I freaking love Mario Kart, and I love seeing you guys after the long weekend. So, chatters... Thank you to anybody who came to the stream. Any chatters, lurkers, we had a resub today, so thank you, Issa. And we also had a raid from Issa, too. Oh my god, crazy. Um, yeah, I hope everybody had a good time. If you didn't have a good time, why are you here? <laughs> no, seriously, does anybody hate watch? If you hate watch, you're just a bad person. Like, you're spending your valuable time on this earth. Watching somebody you don't like. Like, honestly, something is wrong with you if you're a hate watcher. Like, seriously. This is the second best stream I've been to so far. What is the best stream? Chatters, if you're still here, what is your favorite stream that I've done? I hate watch when you don't sing WAP. Well, that's every day, bro. You know, like Logan Paul. Or was it Jake Paul? Whoever sang that one was like. Mario Kart. And I'm crossing cooking stream? Okay, that was a banger. That was a banger. What has been your favorite stream? I'm stalling. I'm literally stalling. <laughs> you cry laughed a lot? Yeah, the fucking... The can they hop clip was pretty good. It was pretty fucking good. And okay, and I'm stalling. I'm stalling. Let's end it here. So, chatters, before I leave, make sure you're following all... All of them chatters. All of my also social media accounts. I have... A Twitter, Instagram, and a TikTok. If you aren't already, go follow my Instagram, because I'm going to try and post there more. I forgot to tell chat. I literally forgot to tell chat. Um, yeah, the donut stream is crazy. That small guy stream is actually crazy. I made so much money. <laughs> I'm kidding. I got a new phone. I have two phones. Now I can be a dual wielder phone streamer. Okay, the reason why I bought a new phone is, you know how I told chat, um, I want to save for a DSLR camera? I thought to myself, I was like, why am I gonna buy a four or $500 camera that I also need to buy another capture card for, so that's another hundred fucking bucks, but I can just buy a new phone. Actual five head. Because I feel like this one, this is a Samsung A53. It's the adjacent line to the Samsung S line, which I didn't even know they had a- this- so this phone, um, I was willing to spend max 500. That was my cap. That was my cap. So on the Samsung website, this, um, stall queen. Okay, any chatters who are here still, you guys are hearing the nitty gritty secret bits about me, okay? You guys are hearing the good shit. This is like, this is like, you see the credits, and this is like the cute little animatic scene at the end of the credits, okay? You guys are getting bonus content. <laughs> so queen for real. Anyway, so this is the line adjacent to the Samsung um, S line. So the newest Samsung is like eleven hundred bucks, actually insane. But this phone new was five hundred. But I found it on Amazon for three fifty, and I was like, "Huh? What? It's giving me Best Buy employee." No, I'm not selling. If I was sponsored, I would have hashtag ad in the title. And if I was sponsored by Samsung, I'd be fucking rich, okay? Because <laughs> I would hope they would pay well for a sponsor. Anyway. 
Um, so I bought this because my phone, this is a Samsung S9. They don't sell it anymore. Chatters, I've been... <laughs> okay, I've been saving for a new phone for three years now. And I could justify buying one now because, like, the processor on my current phone, like, it can barely load TikTok. And, like, this new phone, the processor is a lot better. Yes, it's a new device, so it doesn't have as many, like, bugs or viruses. Or potential bugs, I did not get hacked. I don't know. I don't fucking know. Anyway. And, like, I've noticed, since this is a newer device, some social media, like, application settings are different. Like, on TikTok, for this um, new phone, I can tag people in the video. When on my, on this phone, since it's an older model, the app version doesn't have it. So there's slightly different setting options I have for apps, which I think is cool. And what I want to do is I want to try and post on Instagram more. I'm not going to become a cam girl. That's not what I'm going for. I just want to post more, whether it be like pictures I take or pictures of me. Um, but I got a new phone. Fuck you. Because, like I said, why am I going to buy a DSLR when I can like buy a phone for half the price? So... No, it does not count as a song request. You'd be wasting your points for me to sing one single line from a song. Literally wasting points. But. <laughs> yeah, so chat, I got a new phone. But what sucks about it is that all of my drafts on TikTok and Instagram don't transfer over. So I can't move everything from my old phone until I post all those drafts. So what I want to do, because, okay. I think social media is legit brain, wow, brain rot. Like, I will pick up my phone and open TikTok or Twitter every 10 minutes, and that's bad. So I think what I want to do is keep my old phone and just have texting and messaging on this one. And then this have all my social media. That way I can just post twice a day and leave it. Because that way I spend less time on social media because social media is actual brain rot. But they can got a new phone, new phone, who dis? You should put sub with WAP on the sub with them. No, that, no. No, that makes literally no sense. You stalling gave me plus 10. Plus 10 what? Fucking brain rot? <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, that's the last. That's the only thing that happened over the weekend. So. Oh, gave me plus 10 channel points? Oh, see? You guys get something in return, baby. <laughs> okay, anyway, chatters, chatters, chatters. Before I go, let's plug my socials one more time. Go follow me everywhere. I have a Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Go follow them right now. If you don't follow me, you suck. Thank you for highlighting, Crystal. You're literally throwing your points away. Literally throwing. Okay. Ooh. Look at this bug bite. Dude, I got so many bug bites. I got one here. I got one here. I got like two on the back of my head. Anyway. Okay, I'm, st I'm, I'm done stalling. So chatters, I will be live again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST with Fall Guys with donation incentives. Make me unalive in the game. Um, Thursday we are doing, but we're continuing Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, and then Friday we are doing that bonus sub full stream where I'm not allowed to say this word and I give subs. So look forward to that, guys. Um, follow everything except Instagram. I said follow everything. <laughs> Excited for you to fail on Thursday. Fuck you. I'm gonna win. Okay, chat. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye. Bye. Good stream. Bye.